You better be taking good care of yourself. Hello, 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 hello. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Happy Thursday. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi, everyone. Chu, thank you for the resub. Thank you. I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. I'm still a little sick. You can probably tell. I might sound a little sick. I'm sorry. I, I feel like I'm coughing less today, and I'm going to try to not cough into the mic so I don't get you sick. I'm going to try really hard, but the more I think about it, the more I want to do it. It's like if you think about uh, it's like if you think about an itch on your forehead, it's like, oh, don't 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 think about it. Don't think about it. It's like suddenly you need to scratch yourself. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think I'm psyching myself out. Maybe I'm maybe I'm not sick after all. Maybe, maybe I just convinced myself. Maybe I'm going crazy. I, I, I don't know. Oh, but I have water. Thank you. I think you sound fine. OK, that's good. That's good. I'm, I'm glad to hear it. <clears throat> oh gosh, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about whether I need to cough or not. No, I've been sick for so long. Like literally, like, oh my God. <laughs> but I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. How's everyone doing? Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's, uh, here, let's, let's switch on over to the just chatting screen. Hi everyone. Hello. Early birds. We're only three minutes in. Normally, I wait a little bit longer, but I, I don't know. I was just sitting around, so I didn't want to wait anymore. Hi, everyone. Hello. How are you? How are you? How are you? How's your day? How's your week been? How's your... How's your month? How's your... How's everything? I want to hear about it. Oh. <clears throat> what's, the, what's, what's the news? What's going on? What's new with you? My week is now ru Why? Well, what? Because, huh? Orbeez and the chill of the chisps? Why? <coughs> oh gosh, excuse me. <clears throat> Should I feed my cat wet food even though she threw up? Oh my gosh, why did she fruit up? I mean, I, I'm i not sure. I, I've never owned a cat before. Um, I hope your cat is okay. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm feeling a little bit like your cat today. Oh, I, I woke up really early today, like 4 or 5 a.m. Like 5 a.m. I woke up and I'm like, you know what? I feel kind of good. So I, I made myself a breakfast sandwich and I ate it. And a few hours later, I started feeling a little sick, like not flu sick, but like something I ate sick. And I'm starting to wonder if I like suddenly grew an intolerance to all hot sauce. Like I put regular hot sauce on this on this bacon, egg and cheese. Um... And it tasted good. It wasn't super spicy. It was really, it was really good. But then I started feeling a little, I don't know. I was like, uh-oh. And this has happened before. So I'm like, maybe I could just, maybe I just can't eat hot sauce anymore. And that, that thought terrifies me. A bad egg? I don't think so. I mean, uh, maybe. I, I just bought the eggs though. It might be hot sauce. I mean, I've, man. What's the point? If you can't have hot sauce on your egg sandwich, what what is, what's going on? You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to put ketchup on an egg sandwich. Well, I could. I'm not against it. But I feel like hot sauce is just so much better. I get sick eating early in the morning sometimes. Yeah, that could be it too. Your stomach might be sensitive. That's true. That's true. Although, I don't know. Mm, we'll see. I mean, I'm not going to stop eating hot sauce anytime soon. I'll report back. But yeah, I'm, other than that, I'm I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm at the tail end of this flu and uh, I don't know, just just trying to take it easy, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I, I hope everyone's been having a good week so far. Um, let me scroll up and let me see if people said anything. Um, I, I really do want to hear about what's going on in your life. Uh, if you want to share, if that's okay. I don't want to just talk about me this whole time. I don't know. It's not. Um, there's nothing too interesting going on on my end. If if there was something interesting, you'd be you you'd hear about it. You know. Uh, let's see. I mean, what? I mean, what? What's going on? You have IBS and you're getting old. Thank you for reminding me. UV, hi. You're gonna play the game that I never beat? This is my custom flair on furry IRL. Yo! Um, you never- have you started Will of the Wisps? I really like it so far. 
uh, I like it as much, if not more, as the last game. Um, when I had to take the SAT my, uh, as a kid, my mom gave me orange juice, highly acidic, and then I took a hot, bumpy car ride. First thing in the morning, I was so nauseous. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, gosh. I, I can, like, I can relate really hard. And, like, you got the nerves because you're taking, like, a freaking test. That's horrible. Uh, I hope things turned out okay. My custom flair on furry IRL is Owori and the Will Owo Wispies. Man, that... Man. What the hell? <laughs> That's so cringe. That's like ultra omega furry. What the hell? Don't unmod me? I mean, you seem remorseful, which... Uh, you know what? That's the first step. You you see the error of your ways. Yeah, we don't uh, we don't do that kind of business over here. Um, we only get one owo per sentence. We can't put two owos in one in one message. That's illegal. My long distance girlfriend and I are planning for her to stay with me soon. I'm, I'm super excited. Yo, that's awesome. That is so exciting. Holy cow! It's gonna be it's gonna be so fun. Very exciting. Remy made me do it. Mm. I feel like Remy only... We only... Remy only reflects our deepest and darkest desires. Remy is actually just a metaphor for um, the id, I think. I don't know. I love Cinder's little baseball outfit. Thank you, yeah. I thought it was super cute to put them in that. Um, we got Andre back there. We got Cinder back there. Let's zoom out a bit. Oh, wow. It's just the three of us. Okay. We could make it if we try. Cool, cool, cool. Um, <clears throat> Remy and Linguini talk. What, are, are, you mean like in your mind? Like Remy is the id and Linguini is like the ego. And Anton ego is the super ego. Hmm. Now that I think about it, I might be onto something. I might, I might be onto something. I'm not, I might not actually just be saying bullshit this time. They literally named him Ego. Think about it. From last stream? Oh. True. Lychee says you own money to the Thieves Guild. The Thieves Guild? Oh, God. I gotta get, I got I gotta get lost. I gotta, ooh. Why this otter is so cute. I wish otters were real. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Suki. Thank you so much for the resub. Thank you. And DCV, thank you as well. Thank you. Thank you. I really, really appreciate it. And Chu, thank you again from earlier. Thank you. All these subs, they mean a lot to me. Also, by the way, did you hear the news? I feel like a lot of people are going to be doing subathon soon because Twitch just announced that there would be, uh, they were, they were, they're going to add a tier to like this thing where you can qualify for a better revenue uh revenue split um originally it was called partner plus but they're actually extending it to affiliates as well so it's like if 100 people stay subscribed for three months straight then you get a better revenue split and then if you get 300 then you get an even better one so i'm thinking i gotta incentivize subscribing soon like what what, what can i do i wonder what's what's fun I have a few ideas rolling around in my head, but I won't say them yet. But um, I don't know. They're not terribly creative. But I wanna. I don't know. I'm trying to. I'm trying to drum things up a little bit, you know. So I do appreciate it a lot. Um, thank you. <clears throat> uh, if Remy and Linguini played a way out, which one is Leo and which one is Vincent? Uh, Remy is Vincent. And Linguini is Leo. But if they played It Takes Two, who's the wife and who's the husband? That's the real question. Destroy your colon live on stream. I was thinking an incentive for each subscriber. I can't destroy my colon, you know, a hundred times for each subscriber. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, oh, gosh. Looks like I'm still coughing a little bit. <clears throat> it was nice seeing you. I'm going to read a book and relax. Oh my gosh, that's... You're so well adjusted. What the heck? Um, enjoy your book. Holy cow! Thanks for dropping by to say hi. Uh, I'll see you later, Pixie Sticks. Uh, all right. Well, this is where we. Uh, this is what we're. we're uh, you know, this is where we are today. We're here 
and we're we're dealing with this. We're dealing with wide Darman emote. Uh Anyway, what is going on in my life? Nothing really. I've been sick for the past week and a half. The next Darman video is is he still making videos? I don't know. I'm out of the loop. <clears throat> You know what I've been up to lately? I've been trying to figure out how to do some more game dev stuff, which is not what we're going to be doing today, but I will talk about it a little bit since I, I was struggling with this earlier. <clears throat> Here, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me, let me pull this up. Let me pull up what I've been working on, and it's not really anything. It's If anything, it's just, it's just me learning. It's more of the same. There's no actual game yet. It's just me trying to get this basic stuff working, so... <clears throat> I've kind of hit a snag. Let me, uh, let me, let me load this up. Boop, 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 and boop. Okay, just ignore all these random shapes. <clears throat> so basically, I've just got this area. I just added a bunch of cubes to help with, you know what I mean? Just, you, you need, you need cubes in your video game. That This is just how things work. Uh, so yeah, we got the cubes. Um, so, I've, so, I'm trying to figure out how to do, like, a first-person character controller. I'm thinking about it. Anyway. <clears throat> nice cubes. Thank you. So, here, here's what we got so far, right? Like, we got, we can look around, and we can walk around, and that's, you know, some might say that's impressive in and of itself. But it's not really, because it's actually pretty easy to get yourself up and running. Um, the other day I was trying to get the crouching working. We got crouching, so um, I've actually had a first-person player uh, controller for a while. But I tried to move everything to a state machine so that jumping and crouching and walking as are, are their own individual states. You know, similar to what we did earlier with our two-dimensional thing. Um, and that's fine. We can actually sprint, too. I don't know if you can tell the, the field of view changing. Uh, we can sprint a little bit. Inspired from, uh, Skyrim. You can sprint in Skyrim. You could, you could see the camera field of view changing a little bit in Skyrim. <clears throat> what are you making? Oh, this is just an exercise. Just to, uh, you know, just to teach myself how things work. I feel like I'm in, I'm in tutorial limbo. And, I'm, and I've been in tutorial limbo for a long time. Have you tried making the moving like Half-Life 1? Oh my god, that's the goal. Yeah, so we got crouching, we got sprinting, we got jumping. It's all it's all pretty pretty fine and dandy. But here's the thing. Here's here's the thing. And uh actually let me show you what it's like um without any without any fancy stuff. Uh <clears throat> okay, so here's the deal. You make a character controller and it's all fine and dandy, right? But look at this. Look at this. What's this? What do you call it? What, what it what, uh-oh. It's a step. Well, it turns out you're too um dumb to know how to walk up steps until you ma an manually add it. You could sure you could jump up the step. Sure, you could just you could jump up a bit. But that's annoying. You don't want to you don't have to hop every time you walk up stairs. Um, we could do an easy solution, which is to make all the stairs secretly ramps, so you could walk up them like this. Um, but I don't know, that, that just feels, yeah, I don't want to do that, because what if there's like a tiny thing on the ground? What if I'm trying to do something, and, and suddenly there's a little tiny thing on the ground, and, and, and my character just stops in their tracks, and they can't walk up the stairs? Um, so I've, I've been trying to figure out stair-stepping, and I don't know how, uh, I don't know if anyone uses Unity, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know if there are any Unity game devs in chat. I, I'm not sure if it's any easier in Unity. There, there might be more tools, or maybe, like, maybe there's an easier way to do this. But, uh, here's what I discovered. I discovered that making a character walk up stairs automatically is, like, fucking impossible. Like, that's, like, the hardest shit ever. Like, like, I'm about to give up. Like, <laughs> this shit is so freaking hard. It's actually, like, insane how hard it is to make a character walk upstairs automatically.
I think a capsule player hitbox is supposed to help handle small edges. That is true. That is true. I think I have a round bottom that's helping me step over this tiny one. But what if I want to step over this slightly less insignificant ledge? You know, then what am I supposed to do? Yatoro, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you. I really, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, um, yeah, so, yeah, all right, um, there is, there is a way, there, there's two ways, really, there's the easier way, and then there's the hard way, and you might think, okay, well, if there's an easy way, why not fucking do that, well, here's the thing, I did the easy way, and turns out, even the easy way isn't even that easy, uh, but I'll quickly walk you through how this works. This is the so-called easy way to do it. So, every character is made up of something called the collision shape. That's how it knows that you're walking into a wall. <clears throat> I happened to make, it was a capsule, but I, I decided to make it for some reason that I'll explain maybe later if I feel like it. I made it into a cylinder. So you can just barely see this little cylinder shape here. That is what is colliding with walls and stuff. And then I have a separate one here that is a sphere. You see this little sphere here? That's my bottom. That is what lets me walk up that tiny little staircase, but not the slightly less tiny staircase. But here's the thing. I can switch out this bottom uh, shape for another shape. I called it stair stepper. This other collision shape isn't actually a shape. It's a thing called a, I think this is Godot only. I don't think Unity has something like this, or maybe it does, I don't know. But it's something called a separation ray shape 3D. And this is what I just learned about the other day and I've been trying to make it work. So how a separation ray shape 3D works is it basically, depending on how you angle it, but I angled it down, you can't really see it, it's invisible. But it starts over here and it points downwards onto the floor. This is the floor. It's, it's pointing on the floor. And if it detects any sort of collision along this pathway, normally if you're just standing there, it won't collide with anything because it is perfectly aiming at the floor. <clears throat> but if you, if you step over a small staircase, it's going to collide with it. And what the separation ray shape 3D does is it will take the endpoint here and like push everything up a little bit. So it'll detect the stair step and then push your character up. That's why it's called the separation ray shape 3D because it likes to separate from collision points. If it, if it detects a collision point, it's like, oh, nope. And then it like goes up a little bit. And you might think, well, that'll, you know, that that's, that's actually really good because then if you add that to your character, um, and it detects a staircase, and that's that's why I have two collision shapes, by the way. It's because um, I want some empty space down here for the stairs to go in, because if it was a little bit lower, then you know I wouldn't be able to step over it because my main body collision shape is in the way. Um, I don't know. I hope this is making sense so far, but let me walk you through this because it turns out that this actually introduces a number of problems. But let me first show you how it works because it does actually work in some cases. So now that I have this thing enabled and I have set stair stepper enabled running every uh, fixed update, AKA every physics process frame, I have it basically check if it's colliding with anything like a stair step. And if it is, then it, um... no, hang on, how's this work? <clears throat> oh, 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 actually, no, this is, this is separate. This is, this is different. I'll, I'll walk you through what this is later because actually you can just ignore this for now because the uh, separation ray actually just works. It just works. Actually, I'm going to turn this off and turn this on and I'll show you it working. Check it out. I don't know why it's so jittery all of a sudden, but look, we can now step up the stairs. It's actually pretty sick because the separation ray has replaced my feet 
My feet are now made of separation ray, and when it detects a small step, it pushes everything up. That's pretty sick, right? Pretty awesome. But here's the thing. What if there's a low ceiling? I'm not checking for any low ceiling, so when the separation ray detects a step, it's gonna basically teleport me on top of the stair. Into the low ceiling. Let me do that right now. Bop. Check it out. I have now teleported partially into this low ceiling, and try as I might, I am stuck. I'm stuck. Game development over. I should just uninstall this and throw away my computer and give up. Give up my dreams, because this is already too hard, because how the hell am I supposed to know if there's a low ceiling in the way of the stairs? Well, I'm like, wait, wait a minute. I don't want to give up just yet. You can't, you can't knock me down that easily. So I added this thing here. Uh, I called it set stair stepper. It basically swaps out the separation ray with the ball whenever something is in the way. So I added a, um, I added a little sphere here. I called it stair check cast. It is a shape cast that scans this entire area around my head and if it detects a wall in this sphere then it will replace the separation ray with this regular ball the regular ball that does not step upstairs so uh that's what i've been working with <clears throat> so now that i have a uh, stair stepper enabled and running every frame um, if it detects something in that sphere, it will disable the stair stepper and enable the non stair stepper. Uh, sounds pretty good, right? Well, yes, actually, because now if I try to walk up this stair, it won't even let me go up because it detects that something is in the way. Um, but I can still walk up the stairs here. Pretty cool. My game dev brain is working. Pretty, pretty neat. Um, pretty cool, right? But here's the thing, there is a small bug. Because there's a sphere around my head that detects walls and low ceilings, that means that if I'm right up against this low ceiling, it, I'll have trouble. Like, it, let's say I'm going up like a... Let's say I'm going up like a narrow hallway. Kibi Roar, hi, welcome. I'm not going to be doing this for the entire stream, but this has been bumming me out today, so I'm walking through basically everything I've been trying to struggle with uh, off stream, and it actually, like, stressed me out. Like, I almost didn't want to stream today because this was bumming me out. But, uh, yeah, ba basically, no, all right. So I can really quickly just walk through what, what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do stair-stepping. Uh, so, you know, we have we have a 3D character controller, and we have uh, <clears throat> we have this 3D character controller, and we are not able. To, oh, well, actually, let me just. <clears throat> so usually you make steps smooth. Oh, you mean like you make them actual ramps, but then make them look like stairs? See, I don't know. I've been trying to make that not work because, I don't know, for some reason that just hurts my pride or something. It, it just feels like a cop-out. So I'm trying to make it I'm trying to make it so that you can actually detect stairs. So, of course, by default, there is no such mechanic that detects stairs besides these very, very small ones where if you have a round collision shape, you can walk through. But even this one, which doesn't even look that big, you're not able to do it. So here's... Here, and I'm sorry for those of you who just heard me say this, but... Um, I used something called, there's a collision shape called a separation ray shape 3D. Have you heard of this? A separation ray shape 3D. There's actually like a weird quirk with this where when I was looking into it, no one actually even knew about this because the documentation was really vague. And it's not vague anymore. They fixed it like a few months ago. But in the documentation, they, like, they, they had barely any documentation. And for some reason it said, it, it said... Oh, it's useful for spears uh, falling from the sky, and like no, no one knew what that meant. And I still don't really understand what that means. But they've amended it to say that it helps you walk upstairs, because that's exactly what it does. 
It is a collision shape. Oh, former President Barack Obama, and I just want to tell you I know how to beatbox with a little bit of. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, no. for the Squidward and Obama beatboxing redeem. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, so we got the separation ray, and it lets you walk upstairs. Basically, if it detects collision, it pushes your entire physics body up to the point of collision. So, if it detects a stair step, it will push you up on top of it. <clears throat> So that was working, except that it will sometimes push you into low ceilings, which is why I implemented this. It is a shape cast around my head. You can just barely see it over here, where if it detects any ceilings nearby, it will disable automatic stair stepping. So that's what I've been working with. And it seems like it works. A, little bit, a, a bit of weird, a bit of weirdness. If you try to walk into the corner here, a little, a little bit of weird, crazy stuff. But I'm willing to forgive that. But it looks like we can walk upstairs. We can even run upstairs, and it's it's all very nice. And as an added bonus, I will show you that I also um, added this camera smoothing. Uh, logic over here because normally it will snap you on top of a uh, on top of a stair step and this i'm i'm pretty proud of myself i figured this out all on my own um but basically what it does is normally your uh normally your camera works like this oops normally your camera work hold up hold up Work with me here. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Give me a sec here. My camera just decided to just go all the way up here for some reason. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yeah, so if if you just do it like this with the separation ray, you you can walk upstairs. It's but it's a little uh it's a little jarring, right? Like you see how that you see how it just snaps up like that? Happy to your anniversary. It's a little I don't know. I wasn't happy with that. Although it's fine. I, I wondered though if it would make some people sick because it's so abrupt. Like let's say you're going upstairs. Like you're going like like up like a long hallway and it's just like blah, 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 blah. So I figured out that I can just um so the camera is a part of my character so its transforms are inherited like if you parent something to something else it will just inherit all of its transformation that's normal shit but if you set it to top level it'll basically ignore all the transformations so that I could manually set the camera's movement every frame so basically I I essentially manually make it inherit the transformation but if certain conditions are met, namely, you're on the floor, you're moving, and the stair stepper collision shape is enabled, then it does a linear interpolation. It basically interpolates uh, just the vertical movement of your character. And this condition here just makes sure that you're walking upstairs. So with this enabled here, I can even set this value to an even lower number so you can see it a little bit easier. Um, but, but look how smooth it is now. It's, it's, it's too smooth because I, I, I turned the number lower. Uh, it's actually so smooth that it snaps a little bit at the very end just because of the whole velocity equals zero thing. But you'll see, you see how smooth it is. So if I set this to something like 10 or maybe 12, so it, there's a bit of jitteriness, I, I, I think it feels a lot better. So you can see it now. Well, you can you can just barely notice it. Maybe I'll change it back to 10. Or maybe I'll change it to 8. <clears throat> there's there's a bit of um uh like dropped frames. This has only happened when I I've been streaming, so I must um this this is it's probably my computer chugging. But you can see that it's way smoother. It doesn't snap up anymore. Okay, what's the issue? Let me let me get to the issue, because I've just been talking about things that work. All right, here's issue number one. Um, if you have small gaps on the floor, 
uh what what will happen is actually my character my character separation rate is falling in between the cracks so i'm actually sinking in between the ground like way shorter than i would like you know if i were a real person walking through with these grates you know you would just kind of step through them without bumping up and down like this so this already bothers me but it's like okay it's fine i guess what's happening is i'm falling through my ass um, pretend this sphere here doesn't exist because it gets swapped out with the separation ray. But, like, the separation ray is just a single ray shooting down off the bottom of my butthole onto the ground. And that is what's falling through the crack. And then, uh, and then it's hitting the bottom of my, uh, cylinder. Uh, uh, so, I, yeah, so I have two colliders. I have this main body one, which will bump into walls and stuff. And it ends over here so that there's room for stair-stepping because the separation ray can detect this empty space. And once it hits this little point down here where the ray is pointing, it will push me up. Uh, so, yeah, because there's no other way to make it easier, uh, to make stair-stepping easier except to use the ray. It causes that little issue where the, where the feet are... Um, falling through so actually the reason why i did this is because if if your body shape hit the ground completely then it wouldn't it would it would actually collide before it gets a chance to um realize that before the separation rate gets a chance to push yourself up uh i do yeah i mean i could use a capsule collider but it doesn't it doesn't step up large staircases it steps up this one but it, it doesn't step up this one, so I'm, I'm looking for a different solution. So, so yeah, I mean, it's not the biggest deal. By the way, um, Lunar Live, you thank you so much for the Prime sub. Thank you! And Rhythm, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you, thank you, I really appreciate it. You can go with a sphere cast? Oh, like a shape cast? Yeah, but then, it, so the stair, the separation ray actually pushes up your character automatically. It's a, it's like a collision shape. I could use a shape cast and then, like, manually push my character up. That could work, yeah. Well, yeah, that could work because it, it could it could sweep the ground and and ignore your collision shape. Yeah, I don't know. You know what? This the separation ray was kind of built for stairs, so I kind of wanted to use it because it made sense to me and it was intuitive. But that's not even the biggest issue here. Turns out the bigger issue. Why do you need your character to do this? Well, gosh, that's a great question, because I guess I don't really... But I kind of wanted to make a, a, a character controller for myself that I could just save as a template and then use for, like, many different kinds of demos. So there's, like, a level of, like, versatility that I want this to have. You know, I figured it's not too much to ask, you know, your character being able to crouch and walk upstairs and all that. I mean, that that's 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 not so much to ask, right? Like, that's... Come on. But but here's the bigger issue. It's this isn't even the this isn't even the main thing. Here's what really bummed me out. Um, if I walk into this corner over here, like if I if I really just step into this corner where these two shapes meet each other, uh, uh, yeah, the separation wave freaks out. Let me show you. How did I get up here? I was just over there. Suddenly I teleported up here. What? 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 Whoa! I fell through the ground. Um, I was having a great day until I figured this out. And I don't know how to fix this. <laughs> it's a pretty big issue, and I don't know how to fix it. It only happens with the separation ray, and it only happens, I think, with the slope. If the slope is steep enough, it's hitting my uh, shape cast that turns off my stair stepping. So it doesn't seem to be an issue. I, I try as I might to, to, to ride the edge of this stair, uh, stair step, it doesn't cause any issues. Try as I might to, to, to walk along the edge of this thing, it doesn't cause any issues. It's only this like slightly sloped floor meeting with this other kind of floor just don't have those kinds of edges i i i i i, 
but that that's just admitting defeat though is this what game devs do all the time they just have these unsolvable problems and they just put a band-aid over it and hope no one notices because um i feel like people do notice i mean that's why people clown on like skyrim and stuff oh these these rigid bodies don't play nice with me either i mean oh, look at this what's going on here I think that's maybe also the separation ray. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, that's another thing I have to figure out. The Pokemon devs? I don't want to be like the Pokemon devs, though. I, I, I held myself to a higher standard. Uh, but yeah, there's literally no way to fix this. Check your normal angle. See, I was trying to do that, and I, I don't know. I... I, I don't know. So if I do print, I like to use print debug. I find that's a little bit better than print. At least in Godot, print debug tells you where the print command is coming from. So if I do um, get slide collision, or no, or no, no, it's um, get last slide collision dot collision normal, I think it is. Or is it maybe, no, it's get normal. Get normal, I believe. What is it? Let me, let me make sure. Get floor normal. It might be, yeah, let me, it might be get floor normal. Let me see. <clears throat> I am so not normal. Uh, here, let me, let me see. Get floor normal. Does it not work? Get floor normal returns the surface normal of the floor on the last collision point. Why isn't it working? Oh, oh, actually, no, I can just, uh, I think I can just get floor normal. Just straight up, just get floor normal. What's strange to me is your character doesn't just move up, it moves into the collider. I think that's just the separation ray being weird and being maybe something that I shouldn't use. Um, actually, okay, so it's, I'm seeing the normal being reported down there. Uh, zero, one, zero is, is what it's supposed to be. That, that just means it is, the normal is pointing up, directly up. It's flat. So if I walk here. Yeah, see, I think, I think the separation ray, like, breaks, like, <laughs> it, like, breaks my thing that detects what angle I'm stepping on because this is not flat right now here let me uh let me try to turn this off and I'll um <clears throat> I'll use the regular collision shape so now, now I'm not uh I don't have the ability to walk upstairs anymore see <clears throat> and the added benefit is I uh, simply will not clip through the floor yeah, okay, so, fucking, what the hell, man, like, <laughs> that's gotta be a, is that a bug? Yeah, like, I, I, alright, so, when I'm not using the separation ray, it, it seems to work. I don't know, it might be a, is it a bug? I, I'll check the GitHub. But yeah, it works now, you can see that it's at an angle. Um, it's the freaking separation ray, man. It's, it's just, it, I don't even, it's not like ready. It's not ready to be used. Because if it did, if this worked, then I could maybe do a thing where it's like, if the floor normal isn't flat, then I could just turn off the stair stepper and I'll have a normal collision shape and I won't go through the floor. Is this the new DLC? Hi, JT. Hi. I'm just, oh, it's driving me crazy. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure, please. Please. Uh, for the slope step issue, maybe a normal thing. There, There's a part of the code that could potentially not move the character straight up in world space. Hmm. See, I think the, the issue is the separation ray because that shape itself is what moves me up. It's not like a part of the code. Um. <clears throat> Maybe I could just have a ray cast just point down and then get the angle that way. What happens if there's an 85 degree angle? Do you swoop upwards? Uh, I don't think so. Especially not without any sort of uh, stair stepper thing. Do you mean with... 
Do you mean with the uh, stair stepper or just with the normal, like with the regular collision shape? Because I think move and slide, move and slide automatically calculates here. I call it here, move and slide. It, I think it automatically calculates the maximum floor angle. And if it's larger than like 45 degrees, it doesn't consider it a floor anymore. Um, <clears throat> so uh, that might be like an issue for Unity or something, but I, in, it, it's kind of built into Godot I, I, as far as I know. So I, I already have a pretty steep slope over here. This this one over here. And if I try to walk up it, it just, it won't go because it's, it's higher than 45 degrees. Um, and that's, uh, that's useful. I, I like that. Uh, so yeah, it's just, uh, here, you know what? Let me, you know what? Fuck it. Let me try it. I'm going to, I'm going to add a ray cast and I'm going to say, I'm going to call it floor normal checker or floor normal cast. Uh, I'm going to add that here and... Maybe we can do a thing where it's like, well, first we can say floor normal cast dot. Can raycasts check? Yeah, it can check. Um. Yeah, get collision normal. Yeah, that that's what I was looking for. So I'll take this. I will. Um, move it down. Is, is it? It's moving down already. Is it? Yeah, it's it's already pointing down, so I could like move it up. One. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, I'll I'll make the target position like one point zero five one point zero five just because I wanted to actually detect the floor. I'll make it one point zero two. There you go. <clears throat> so, is there a way to watch yourself moving around? Yeah, I can add a separate camera. That sh that should be fine. Uh, here. Um, I'll do that, but in a second. I'm gonna print this. So just to see, I want to see that working. We got we got zero one zero. Huh? Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. For a second there, it like didn't. Wait, what? You, uh, you know what? I want to try to make it a little bit longer. There we go. <clears throat> I don't know if it's just me or the game engine. Right, but yeah, no, it works now. I, I just it maybe it was a little bit too short. It was like within a margin of error where it like didn't detect anything or something. So now I could maybe do something that's I will like turn funny things into not funny things. <clears throat> so now that this works, I could maybe do this just really quick. I want to I want to check that I I can walk upstairs. Yep, this part is working. So I could do a check that's like um If floor normal cast dot get collision normal uh is mm, how should I do this? This is the weirdest part of worry. Is not equal to vector three dot up. Sometimes it's like almost vector three dot up, which is zero one zero. Carcat, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you. But I'll just leave this for now, and I'll say. How do I? Is there maybe I could do like a range where it's like greater than. I don't. I don't even know. How, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I don't know how to how to make it like check for almost vector three dot up. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> is equal a prox? Uh, this is a function that 
Oh no, th this is a boolean. Uh <laughs> whatever. We'll leave this for now and uh I'll also say and uh what if I say get slide collision count is greater than one? So if I'm like colliding with like multiple floors, and then we'll say uh, return, or, or yeah, this is messy, but I could do stair, oop. Stair stepper dot disabled equals true. Stair non stair stepper disabled equals false. <clears throat> okay. Is there a way to get an angle number from the normal? Oh, probably. I I bet there is. I bet there is. Get collision point. Get uh. Uh, I might have to convert it myself, which I could do. It's like get collision normal dot angle. Maybe that might actually do it. Yeah, actually, I think if I do dot angle, it'll return a float in radians of the angle. But you know what? That's too much brain power for me right now. I'm just going to leave it like this. Uh, so, oops. I can still walk up the stairs here, but if I try to, <sighs> am I going to clip through the floor? <laughs> am I going to clip through the floor? Gamba time. Put your points where my mouth is. Uh, believers will say that tr no matter how hard I try, I won't be able to clip through the floor here by walking into this corner. And doubters will say that um, I'll be able to clip through the floor. So we'll, we'll, I'll give it a couple seconds just for the points to come in. Remember, believers think that I won't clip through the floor and doubters think that I will clip through the floor. Which is what I don't want, by the way. I don't want to clip through the floor. No way, really. I don't. I mean, I don't know. I already. You already know my code isn't rock solid. I I could have made it maybe even a little bit better with the whole range thing, but I just figured it's too much brain power for now. I do want to start the game soon, by the way. Um, my goal is to start Ori within ten minutes, because <laughs> I know I said I'd be playing Ori, and I'm not playing Ori. I want to play Ori. <clears throat> All right. You but you you got you better. Putting your last few points in now, because I'm going to do it. Let me just double check that my stair stepping works. It, it does. Let me double check that I'm not walking into this. Okay, that, that's working properly. All right, here we go. The moment of truth. Oh! Welp. Doubters. You were right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I don't know why. Uh, I'm not going to freaking use the separation ray anymore. It's it's insane. <laughs> so. That's my entire day wasted because I try to get the separation ray to work. I'm going to delete this thing now before I forget. <clears throat> I don't want that in my code anymore. And I don't want this in my code either. Clean that up a little bit. Clean that up a little bit. All right, so put a ray cast inside you, right down the middle. Point it downwards, and you in. Mm. Was that because you were crouching? Well, that that shouldn't change anything because the 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 core mechanic of me stepping upstairs doesn't change when I crouch. If yes, teleport up. So that's my next idea, but uh, I don't know. I just I, I thought I thought this would be easy. Is there an easier way to do this in Unity? Cuz cuz if so, that might be enough for me to switch engines. <laughs> I'll have to learn C sharp, but still, it can't be harder than learning how to freaking make stairs work. 
Uh, really quickly, I'll show you another way. I'll show you another way, and it's using the built-in physics, like the physics engine or whatever, like the physics server or whatever. And it's a way that I don't understand yet, but this is a demo that I got off of GitHub. It's not made by me. It's made by someone who is way smarter than me. Oh, actually, not this one. This, this, this one is actually kind of the same way that I did, except I did it better. Uh, it's not this one. It's, uh, Godot Stairs. It's, and the, uh, Stair Stepping Demo does it too. That might be a better demo. I, I wanted two so I could, like, understand the code better. <clears throat> if two different people try to do the same thing in code, I could just understand it better. So, uh, this is... Wait. No, yeah, th this... This is the, uh, the demo. And let me just show you that it works. So it, it can just walk up these stairs and it just works. And as far as I know, there's no weirdness with any sort of corners or what, what have you. Although I, I don't think that I would clip through the floor with these, these, these like test shapes anyway. But like, I'm pretty sure this is like way more stable. Uh... And the way this works is it, um, let me show you the code here because it's actually insane and makes me want to die. So what happens when you uncrouch? Huh? Nothing. The same thing that happens when I crouch, but in reverse. It, it wasn't, uh, does the collider pop out? It, um, it's a tween, so it should be gradual. It doesn't. Uncrouching and crouching doesn't normally clip me through the floor. I promise you it's just the separation ray. It's not that. It's, I promise you. I'll, I'll, I'll show you later, but this is the other way to do it in case you're curious. In case you're in my shoes and you want to have the same type of stair-stepping solution that I do, but you're smarter than me and you could maybe make sense of this. Uh, this uses something called body test motion. Let me see if I can find it in here. Body test motion. Yeah, it's a thing called physics server 3 dbody test motion, which basically just like preemptively projects yourself forward to see that to see if it's like a valid movement. And it's something to do with this is how it works internally to check for move and slide. This is how it checks if you can walk in the direction that you're walking in. Um and it does this insane business where it uses this internal function basically to to see if uh this basically is a fancy way to check for low ceilings um because what I did was basically just turn off stair stepping if there's a if there's a ceiling near my head but this will you don't even need that with this because it'll just tell you if there's a ceiling in the way because body test motion will tell you when there's when when a movement you're trying to make is invalid um, and because it has that extra security, it doesn't need to use the separation ray, which is kind of buggy in my experience. And then you can teleport yourself up knowing that you won't clip into any walls. So I kind of understand the principle of it, but oh my god, like look at how much extra code you need just to make this work. Like this is, this is making my head hurt. And it's all I want to do is walk upstairs. Uh... Try turning the floor into a cube. Hmm. <clears throat> Try turning the floor into a cube. Let me see. Let me do that really quick. Test game. Uh, you said that you would get we would get to Ori like twenty minutes ago. No, no, I still got five minutes. My um, I gave myself an hour. Okay, so the floor... Uh, alright, I could, um... I could maybe do that. I could use a CSG box, which is a cube. And you can tell that it has thickness. I'll move that... I want to say 
Oops. No, it wasn't that. It was this. Hmm. So let me just turn this off. Oops. I'm gonna drag this out here. And um, use collision, material, uh, gosh. I forgot where I stored the texture file. <clears throat> At the end of the day, you got to ask yourself if you re if you really have that kind of geometry in your levels. You know what? I think my issue is that I'm trying to make like a one size fits all first person controller. And I wanted this to be a little bit like, you know, not buggy so that I could use it in future projects and not have to worry about the exact type of game I'm doing as long as it's first person. But maybe I'm just trying to solve too many problems at once, you know. But this just feels like a pretty basic thing, you know, uh, not falling through the floor. Uh, but all right, I've got this going here. In what situation do you need it to fit through cracks? Well, it's more that I don't want people who play my game to actually fall through the floor. No, I, I still think that it's freaking, it's freaking out. Actually, actually, wait a minute. Wah! Okay, so it's still teleporting me, which is less a less a big deal to me than falling through the floor. Huh. You know, you 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 might be onto something here. Now that there's thickness to the floor, I'm I'm I might not be able to actually fall up. Never mind. Never mind, I lied. <laughs> You know what I think happens? It it teleports me to the exact pixel underneath the floor because it's trying to land me on the slope. God damn it. <laughs> well, I'm not well, technically I'm not falling through the floor, but I am stuck. I can't move. And then I cannot jump, and it's not jumping me up. I'm not going to use the separation ray anymore. This thing sucks. Ugh, gosh, what a waste of my time. Well, it was a good try. It almost worked. <clears throat> well, that's... Anyway, all that to say, that's what spun me out today. Because I was really, really trying to get it to work. But uh, maybe I'll figure out that whole body test motion thing, and I'll add that. I'll add that in. It's just... God. I already know my life is getting more difficult. You know what I want to do? I want to, like, add it to my character controller, make it work, and then when I actually make a game, I'll probably turn all that shit off and make all my stairs actual ramps. I just want... I just wanted to see it... I want to see it working. I want to be able to identify a problem and solve it, you know? You know what I mean? Does it happen when you don't crouch? Uh, yeah, and, and I don't have the thickness on the ground, but it does. I'm not crouching. That was weird. Yeah, see? I, I didn't crouch at all. Um, and if I added the other ground back... Let me, let me just make sure the floor is actually disabled here. Oh, it's not. Okay. That's... That maybe contributed the fact that I had the two floors. Uh, I don't know what this other CSG box is, but oh, it's okay. For some reason, that's there. <clears throat> um, it's this one. Uh, let me just disable this collision shape, and uh, we'll try again. What's going on with the teleport? What is it doing? It's the separation ray. Oh yeah, here. Let me let me let me clip through without crouching. Welp. Uh 
I'll show you the documentation. Because I bet there's nothing like this in Unity. Because it's just so weird. It's so weird and unreliable. Separation ray shape. <clears throat> A 3D ray shape intended to use, intended for use in physics usually used to provide a shape for the collision shape 3D. When a separation ray shape 3D collides with an object, it tries to separate, it, separate itself from it by moving its endpoint to the collision point. For example, a separation ray shape 3D next to a character uh, can allow it to instantly move up when touching stairs. The function that makes your teleport the function is actually built into this thing. It's built into the thing. There's actually no code that does it. Uh, yeah, it's weird. It's 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 weird. That's what I mean. It's weird as hell. So if I use the shape cast, I could actually probably do what this does, and then make it so that it only teleports me up and not down. And that actually might work. I don't know. But at that point, it's like I. I might even just learn the whole body test motion thing at that point. Just use the pill-shaped collider. The pill-shaped collider doesn't um, let me step up stairs that are a little bit too big. It's the stairs that are a little bit too big. I want this. I want to be able to step up stairs that are just a little bit bigger than than what the pill-shaped collider does. Make a stair ramp, please. Ah! <sighs> <laughs> Yeah, you're right. That's that's what that's what a sane person would do. But uh but I'm not sane. Anyway, I'm going to play the video game now. Um all right. So let me uh turn this off. Let's play some Ori because I freaking love this game. I forgot how to play already. But I know it's good. Boop, boop, and here you go. <coughs> God, why do they have to make this shit so hard? Why is walking upstairs like the hardest thing ever? Oh my God. It's driving me nuts. But anyway, I'm not going to think about that right now. I'm in my happy place right now. Oh. Oh. Uh... But yeah, thank you for, uh, no, I do appreciate, I can't believe y'all listened to me talk about walking upstairs for a whole hour. I do, I realize how insane it is that you listened to me talk about that for a long time. And I thank you. I love coding. I hate it. <laughs> well, you know, I do like it. I like it and I hate it. Everything that I'm passionate about, I like and hate with equal intensity. And it's just tough because I just want to, I want to like a thing and just like it and have it not be complicated, you know? How do I play? <laughs> How do I play this game? Uh... Okay, I remember how to play. I, I, I kind of remember how to play. I, I don't really remember how to play. Hang on. <clears throat> how do I check my abilities? Like, the ability to dash? I want to see, like... I want to see if there's, like, more information about what I can do, like, uh... Any sort of inputs or combos or something. I guess it's not... I, I guess I just have to know. <clears throat> Alright. It's alright. We're here to hear you ramble as much as anything else. More passion, more energy? Thank you. I really... That really means a lot to me. I, ideally, I wouldn't be talking about boring, stupid shit, like, stair-stepping. Ah! I just died. Okay. Wow, I really forgot to play. And I'm on hard mode, by the way. Let me just die again. Go to the pause menu and check options. <clears throat> All 
All right, we got glide, we got show ability wheel, we got grapple bash and dash and burrow. Hmm. I don't know what I just did. I just hit a button. Oh no, 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 no. No, I don't want to rebind my keys. So I can't bash yet. All right, I'm gonna kill this guy. Out of here. Boom, forget about it. <clears throat> Wow, I really don't remember how to play. <clears throat> okay. Ah! What the hell? Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> Damn it! Alright, uh, hold up. Let's see. Where are we going? There's something over here. There's a rumor. Uh, I wonder if I want to backtrack all the way there and, and check that out. Although I could probably backtrack later. My objective, is, my objective is over here to the right. Let's head over there and get some progress in. My god, it's actually kind of hard to see enemies sometimes. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh! You're awesome. Thank you. What the hell? It's so nice of you. Uh, one day I'm certain you'll have a Steam game and make lots of money. Oh my gosh, that's the goal. That's literally the goal. Here, maybe I'll rip off Pokemon and make a million dollars. I hear that's uh, working pretty well. I don't come here as often as I uh, as as much. I love the creature in the corner that looks high. Ah, I of course love you too. Oh well, thanks. Thank you! Welcome, uh, Bronchitis. Welcome back. Oh, uh, I've never seen this game? You're lying. Surely you've seen Ori before. Isn't it so pretty? I don't even know what the game's about. It's just really pretty. Uh-oh. Uh, this... This is bad. Ah! Wow. Oh! I'm getting my ass kicked. Hold up. Hold up. Ah! Okay. Oh, this is some Hollow Knight shit. I'm really rusty. I got it, 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 I got it. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Don't worry, don't worry! Easy, easy, easy. Boom. Ow, damn it. <laughs> I had it, though, I had it. I had it! How's the uh, audio level, by the way? I I want to make sure it's not too loud. I have it quite loud for me. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> uh oh! Ah! Damn it! Uh... Maybe I should put the sword back on. I got it! 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 Bop! 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 He's gonna jump three times. Ow! Damn it. Is he gonna do something new? One. Two. Three. Damn it! Whoa. Fireball. Got that. 
He's gonna run. Oop, another jump. No! Uh oh shit, I'm almost dead. Wow! No, I'm good, right? I'm good. There we go. One, two, three! Another jump. One more. Got that. Oh, I keep forgetting about the dash. I keep forgetting that I have dash. That That's actually very helpful. Okay, here we go. Fireball, got that. Gonna charge at me. Bop, bop, bop. Ah! Whoa, he turned around so early. Got that. Another fireball. Oh my gosh, stop doing this. Fireball, got that. He's gonna charge at me. Easy. GG, easy. Oh, that was a that was an ability, not a healing item. So I needed uh magic points for it. Okay, good, nice. That was fun. <clears throat> how do I how do I grab onto this again? Okay. I'll probably be able to do something with this later. I don't think I can do anything with that right now. Yeah, I remember something like it in the uh in the first game. It, like, lets you launch yourself in a certain direction. <clears throat> Come on. Oh. Well, thanks. Okay. Uh... Out. Ah! Ah! Oh my fucking god. No. Alright, here we go. I bet I could... Yeah, I could do that. I remembered. That's half the reason why I got the uh, hammer was because I could... Um... Break the floors. Alright. Uh, oh, by the way, if, uh, Kiwi Roar, if you're making spaghetti, I, I, I hope it's, I hope it's tasty. Thanks for helping me. Ow. Shit. I'll just die, because I feel like there's something over there that I want to get. Damn it! There's gotta be something over there. I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. Woo! Or maybe not. Huh. Okay. Well, it was worth a shot. What the hell? What was that for? Oh my god. Leave me alone! <gasps> no! <laughs> I launched myself into the missile. Out. Wow. What's his problem? Out. Out. Ah! Oh my god. I'm starting to think hard mode was a bad idea. Ah! Oh my god. <gasps> mean. 
That was mean. I do that. Nope. I can't bust that open yet. Maybe there's a way to like... Oh, oh, it's a bash thing. Because if it's anything like the first game, you can redirect projectiles with bash and it's because it's purple. Purple means it breaks open the purple rock. Not this guy again. Oh my god, leave me alone, freak. Oh. Idiot. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Ooh. Bash time? We gain a new ability. Lanterns, projectiles, or enemies, then aim to leap. Projectiles will be redirected. Good. Whoa! Alright. Alright. I know there's some fuckery going on here. What the hell?! Can I not get that until I get like a triple jump or something? Hi Ninny, hi, how are you? I'm gaming. This game is really good. I love this game. It's so pretty. Hmm. I wonder if I could even do this right now. Uh... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I see a wall. Uh. I did it. Oh my god, I'm so smart. Hell yeah. Now I gotta do this business. Uh-oh. Oh my god, you saw that? Bop! Dude. Dude. This game is crazy. I only played the first Ori need to do this one. It's so good. If you like the first one, you'll you'll love this one. Um Now yeah, let's get this working. Hell yeah. Oh. Okay. I'm working on emotes right now with the emotes getting doubled. Whoa, that's awesome. I can't wait to see. Your art is so good, by the way. I, I, I love your art so much. Like, what the hell? Um, Yeah, everyone go follow Nini Streams. Everyone go follow right now. Ah! Especially if you like ponies. Uh, I wonder if... Here, I'm gonna try to see if there's anything up there that I can get. Oh, shoot. I'm not sure... Here, I'm not sure if this will work, actually. Uh, thank you, Greycon. Thank you. Mm. Hang on. I could probably do it. Maybe not. <clears throat> oh! Oh! I get this. Hmm. Hmm. 
There's no lantern here for me to jump off of. Are you an otter? Yes. Yes, I am. I am a... I am a river otter. Are you a wolf? Ye? Ye? Are you... Is Gray the wolf? Ye? A wolf? Hmm. I don't know about this. Ah! Try to jump to the ledge opposite of the ledge with a bash. What the hell, that one? That's actually crazy. Shit! Uh, Cedric Fox, thank you so much for the reset, but tier two, thank you! Oh my fucking god, this guy came back. Oops. Wrong button. Okay, um... Oh my god. Oh! I can do it! I can do it! I can do it! I can do it! Oh my god, I can do it! I can do it! I can do it! I can do it! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, that's crazy. Holy shit. <laughs> shit is crazy. It's actually crazy. Like, I wasn't sure I was gonna make it. Ow. Oh my god. Ah! Fucking slugs. Oh, he just ran off. He got scared and ran off. Triple jump is a shard. I gotta get that. It's gonna make my life so much easier. Ah! Ah! <gasps> Give me that. Yo! I got more life. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. That's gonna be useful. What the? Bop. Hmm. Oh, it's 2.7k? Bruh. Now that I got Bash, I feel like this is when the game actually starts. Everything before was just practice. Splinter? Huh. It's, um... Uh, short range shots dealing 50%. Mm, I don't know if I like that, to be honest. I don't know if I like that. I'd rather be precise and deal more damage. Ah! I'm always hitting the wrong buttons. Do you think that you have to be good at video games to make, to make them? To make good ones? Because I'm not very good at them. But I don't want to make easy games either, you know what I mean? Um... Guess we'll find out. Uh... Oh, it looks like I can go down, but my objective is to go up. So I'll see if I can get up there from, from where I am right now. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Uh, splinter deals six damage, and they are close together. Two damage per splinter. Hmm. I guess I'll try it. But what would I replace it with? I kind of want to... <coughs> excuse me. I kind of want to keep the... Both of these. Do I ever get more uh, shard slots, I wonder? I guess I'll try this for now. But it hurts to lose that one health. Oh, actually, that's kind of sick. <clears throat> I've never seen so much gaming talent before in my life. Aw, oh, shucks. You, you know exactly what to say, don't you? I bet you get all the otters. I bet you're absolutely crawling with otters right now. Like your whole body. Uh, Sky, hi, welcome, welcome. How are you? Found a combat trine? Hmm. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Ah, shit. Wrong button. Just got done working out. Whoa! That's awesome. Congrats on finishing the workout. It was leg day? Make sure you stretch. You gotta do stretches after you work out, right? I'm pretty sure that's a thing that, that people do. I wouldn't know. Oh, shoot. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I get it, I get it. Oh, and I could do this now. Oh. <gasps> no! I know there's a thing up there. I need that guy to come back to life. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah! I am too good at this game, I think. Hello, adorable being. Welcome, welcome. Hi, pancakes. And and uh, welcome, soul the protogen. Are you seeing this right now? Ah! I'm gaming. Ooh. So I'm coming from the Moldwood depths and I'm going to the Silent Woods. Shoot. Whoops. Uh, I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna get my health back. Ah, shoot. Keep hitting the wrong button. Wait, wh what does the plus mean? Is it ready to level up? I don't know. I don't know how to do that. Hmm. Four short range shots. You know, if I if I upgrade this one, it might be actually insane. Cause imagine all four shots go into one single boss, and that that means it deals double damage. It's actually kind of nutty. Hmm. I'll put the sticky one back on when I need it. I don't need it right now. God, what? They really didn't have to go so hard on the on the on the art in this game. Like, what the hell? My eyeballs are sore from how nice it is. Uh, you can purchase upgrades from a guy named Twillin for a price and get reckless and make them. Th deal three each. But what what does the plus mean, though? 
Does it mean that I'm ready to buy an upgrade? This guy's on my dream blunt rotation. Harunk, a spirit in my marsh. So the Moki were right. I wanted to believe, but it has been so long. I am Quolock, and you are welcome in my marsh, little one. Dude, imagine smoking a blunt with this guy. He seems cool as hell. The Moki tell me you seek a friend, an owlet. She fell far to the east. Oh, look how sad she is. The silent woods hold her, hold her now. Oh, he didn't have to show me how sad she was. Now I feel bad. A blunt and three shots with that dude. What more could you ask for? Yeah, yeah, and some hole. What what more could you ask for? Frog big. I, I like how he, like, moistens his lips. Like, I would give him my chapstick. There is one way, however. The wellspring to the west. A great watermill sits silent. Were you, were you to set its wheels in motion, the waters would flow clear once more. I, I would accompany you, but the Moki need me. I can give you something, however. <gasps> A kiss? A fragment of the ancient light? Uh-huh, okay, that, that works too. That's fine. Dude, I love this guy. Ooh. I want to eat a mushroom off his head. May its voice be your guide through this perilous land. Thank you. I am the voice of the forest. It has been a long time since I last saw your kind. <gasps> it talks? And a long time since I last left the marsh. But I will do my best. The wellspring needs us. Go to the wellspring and teach its waters to flow again. Ooh. The silent teeth. Quolock thinks restarting the watermill to the west will clear the murky swamp enough to cross. Your maximum life and energy have been increased. Whoa! Thank you, Quolock. I'll be off then. <clears throat> Is there anything else I should pick up on the way? Like, should I go down here? I'll come back, I think. I'll come back. Maybe we'll see if there's a way I can get up here for the time being. But I already know I'm going to be, like, backtracking and, and and stuff like that. So. Wah! Where did I go? Oh. Moki! Moki time. So all of you have Moki Sonas now, right? Yeah, I've played Hollow Knight. Ow. Damn it. <laughs> Out of here. Let's go up here. <clears throat> hmm. I wonder how to get that. Can I zoom in? Oh. Yeah, 
Yeah, how do I get that? I need an enemy or something. Here, can you help me out? I can't bash you? You are not a Moki, I can tell. Your ears are too floppy. I noticed things, like this map I found. I would give it to Lupo the map maker, but he has enough maps. It should go to the one who wanders. I hear he used to love maps. Maybe he would love this one? Could you give it to him? I saw him in the Wellspring, Wellspring Glades. Where'd you pull that out of? You have a backpack back there? Um, we got the old map. Hmm. No, I don't think I could do it. I don't think I could do it. Not right now. Ah, 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 ah. I'm regretting taking away the sticky thing. Oh, wait a minute. I got it. I got it. All right, I'll, I'll put it on. Uh, I don't want to give up the extra life, though. Oh, I'll give this up. Shh, I keep, I, I'm so Nintendo-brained, I always hit the wrong button. What the heck? I hit it again. Okay. Oh, welcome back. How's your spaghetti? Oh! How to like catch a bullet when it's really close? Oh, damn it! Worth it. Worth. Too warm. Oh my god. Oh, no. What? Gorlic ore. Repair structures. Okay. That's good. Glad I got it. Ah! Oh, shoot. Oh! Got it. The clown nose stays on in bed. Honk honk. I recently played Elden Ring for the first time. Yo, I gotta beat Elden Ring. I got like pretty close. That game is way too hard for me though. Come on over, let's get a closer look at you. Who's asking? It changed my perspective of what a Souls like is. It's so good. That game is crazy. It's like five games in one. I do want to play it. Oh, the DLC's coming out soon too, right? Uh Damn, I really got to catch up. Is it a crime to be walking around with an unconscious body? I know there's some stuff around here. The music turned really nice. Hmm. Is it? Uh, mm, probably. Ofer. Oh, 
Ah, greetings. I see you made it to the Glades, spirit. I don't suppose your journeys have taken you in the direction of the Wellspring yet. Rumors of an old library have roused my interest. Might do some exploring on my own. Perhaps I'll see you there. Can I hone you, uh, care to hone your skills? Yes. Fast travel. Wait. Wait, I have to buy fast travel? What? I thought I just had that. Alright, I'll buy it. You drive a hard bargain, but I'll do it. I've heard of a place with some knowledge. Ancient spirit knowledge. The entrance is said to be barred to all but the most observant. Good luck. Ooh. So can I just fast travel now, like from anywhere? Yeah, press press A to warp. Got it. Oh, that's good. That's gonna be useful. I can't afford anything else, but it's worth a try. <clears throat> Is this poison water? I think it is. Oh, no, Say, what's the paper you got there? Squark! Those crisp dotted lines, that bold X, that's a treasure map. Here, I'll swap you my wanderer's pouch for it. Something tells me I'll be needing a bigger bag. Whoa. Everyone's so friendly. New quest item, small but useful for adventures. Find an aspiring adventure. Squark, fancy meeting you here. This place isn't half bad for building a nest, not that I've got any plans to settle down. I hear that old Gorlick Grom aims to make these glades even better. He should start by cleaning the water. Bah. So what does the uh, what does the bag do? I'm sure it'll come in handy. <clears throat> Grom! I didn't dare hope the rumors were true, but here you are. Nguyen is a home to a spirit once more. You made quick work of the wall there. Guess my building skills aren't what they used to be. Still, I made a promise I would provide refuge from the decay here. These glades are counting on me, spirit. But without ore, I fear I will let them all down. The materials I need were abandoned when my kind fled to the mines. And without the proper supplies, well, my dream of, of a haven might end before it has even begun. Try to make these glades a better place? Sure. Thorny situation. These spiky vines all over the place are quite the nuisance. With some help, I should clear it. I could clear them out and make the glades safer. Perhaps if we repaired this well. Whoa! I gotta do that. Few true gore like are left, so be wary if you see anyone out there who looks like me. Not all of us escape the corruption in time. Whoa. I get to fight him. I get to fight this guy. I like him too. Hmm. Wait, wait, wait a minute. There we go. I meant to do it. I just hit the wrong button again. <clears throat> Good old Gorlick. Before my home was swallowed by sand, the spirits saw potential in Gorlick ore. They disappeared before they could try what we built. W well, what we built them. They disappeared before we could try what we. Before they could try what we built them. But now that you're back, that can change. Okay. Shot the well. What? 
I came from far. I came far to find these glades. It's a paradise here for Mogi. My family will like it here, but we have no home. The Gorlic Grom knows the building ways. Maybe he can help. Hello. Returning customer, always a welcome sight. Oh yes. Your name is spoken ever more loudly. Even so, I heard many names on my journeys. You see, the names they buy my shining shards, uh, and pass along. They all sound like quite the same. Oh yes. Still, my shards do gleam more brightly around you. Perhaps your name is one to remember. But for that, you would need to do something worth remembering. Shoot. Triple j Oh my god, that's way too expensive. What the heck? I thought it was 2,000! It's 3,000! Swap life and energy? That's crazy. That's crazy. This this actually could be pretty good. Maybe I'll save it for this. <clears throat> I really do want that triple jump, but I don't think it's ever gonna happen. Oh, all right. Let's talk to you. Hello, I came here from the marsh because I heard the glades were beautiful. They are beautiful, but the light here is so bright, not like the gloomy marsh. That's why I'm hiding in the shade. If I had a hat like that funny one over there, but I don't. I can hardly believe it. I'm talking to a real spirit in Nguyen. You're smaller than I thought up close, but oh so bright. I prefer to blend in. It's not safe out there, you know. Luckily for you, I've been watching your every move just to make sure you're alright, of course. Here to see my record? What the heck? Including how many times I've died? Damn. I like him. <coughs> Excuse me. Energy is better in hard mode? Yeah, I feel like I really need it. Oh, shoot. What now? Ah! the wrong button. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh! Nice. <gasps> no! Oh, I want to go up there. Oh! <gasps> no! Oh my god! That was crazy sauce. Okay. Over here. Hmm. You? Oh. Uh, the wellspring is where I'm going. Yeah, we're going here. We can always explore later. Okay. I feel like there's something up there. I don't know if I can get there, though. Did I kill this guy? I think I killed him. More buffoonery. 
We remember this place. Water from the Luma pools flow through here, feeding the marsh with a life. Or it used to flow before the decay, before the mill stopped. Show me. Whoa. Whoa. The wellspring. Well, well, well. Ouch. I didn't mean to do that. Y y you don't have to tell me again. Oh my god. How are you doing today? I'm doing alright. How are you doing, Tizen? Welcome, welcome. What the hell? What was that noise? Did we hear that last time? Let me see if there's something up here. What what is that? Can I not bash on that? I guess it's not a lantern. There's something down here too. Out. <gasps> nope! 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 I can't do it. I don't think I can do that yet. There's too much going on. Hello again, spirit. Well, I've decided to find that old library. And I hear what you, I hear you want to start the wellspring wheels uh, spinning again. A noble quest. I'm afraid, however, this door might well be the end of both our journeys. It won't budge. I've tried everything to get this door open to no avail. Tell you what, why don't you look around for a way to open it while I continue poking, hmm? Hmm. Oh my god. Nope, I want to go over here. Hmm. Oh, Johnny, hi! Welcome, welcome. Yeah, this game, it's so freaking good. Like, oh my gosh. Oh, and it's so pretty. Uh, shoot. Wait, now what? Now, uh oh, now what? Is there nothing over there? Uh, there's totally something over here. Huh? That seemed important. Guess not. Later. It's a later thing. Amazing to meet you. I don't mind me trying to find someone to hang out with. Whoa. Uh, yeah. Welcome, welcome. Yo, Chris. Hope your work is going well. Already? Hector, thank you! Thank you for the resub. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Alright. Maybe I do have to go down here after all. <clears throat> I wonder, though. I don't know. Maybe if I bait you over here? 
come, come, come closer, come closer. Oh, I can climb on it. I'm a, I'm a freaking. I try to get over there in the most like craziest way imaginable. You saw what I was trying to do. I, I forgot that the blue means you can climb on it. All right, that means I can kill you and not feel bad about it. Wait, I lied. Maybe I needed him. Nope, never mind. He's nothing to me. Oh. Live duty is really fun. Are you making a, a model right now? That's awesome. My subscription just ran out though. I don't I don't have live 2D anymore. <coughs> I used to have the education license. It gave me like three years for super cheap. Now I have to pay for it. I keep thinking about what kind of game you do in first person. It's a secret. But only if I can get it working. I swear to god, if I can't get the stairs working, I'm giving up game design. <laughs> just giving it I'm just giving it give it up. I want to become a poet. What the heck? Bulbous. Oh! Finally made progress on the base model, and now I'm working on the first outfit. That's awesome! Yo, that's that's awesome. Yo, keep going. You're doing it. I, I, I do miss working in live 2D. Uh, well, not really. <laughs> I don't know. It's fun. I think my problem is I try to learn everything, and I get to a point where it starts getting really hard. And then I'm like, shit, I want to learn something else now. <laughs> I got to commit. Like, it's so hard to, like, freaking pick one thing to be good at and then actually get good at it. What should I get good at, chat? Well, what's a skill I should hone and stick with and not give up on? Because I've done, I've done drawing, I've done animating, I've done 2D uh, model rigging. I'm learning Blender, I'm learning game dev, but I've, I've never... Um, it, it's kind of the jack-of-all-trades thing, where I feel like I know how to do everything at a beginner level. Twerking? Women? Hmm. Your mental health? No, that's impossible. I can't do that one. It's gotta be something else. Video games? Singing? I don't know. Become the best at everything. I like the way you think. Alright. Hmm, hot sauce? No, I don't, I don't think I can eat- I don't even think I can eat hot sauce anymore. No! Oh, wait, I got it. I think I have to give up on hot sauce. Wait, what the heck? Whoa! What am I supposed to do here? <gasps> oh, oh! Oh, do you think he's okay? How, how do I get on that? There's no way I could jump high enough. Hmm. Lucky I'm trying to learn Blender myself because I'm too broke to commission people. It's so fucking hard. It is, but but stick with it. I promise you, it, it'll start to make sense. And that's and good on you. You know, like I I feel like that that takes dedication. Not a lot of people would take that route they would just be like shit i can't afford to commission someone right now i guess guess i'll die but you're like no i'm not gonna give up i'm gonna figure this out i'll do it myself if you want something done right you gotta do it yourself i respect that jump on the ropey rope what ropey rope ain't no ropey rope here hmm <clears throat> There's a rope over there. Oh, I'll try going up here. Darn. Ow! Ow! I try to do something. Okay. 
Okay. <clears throat> Ugh, I bet I have to use that guy. Alright, I'll do it. Come on, come on. Shoot at me. You can do it. What is the hole on the left? <laughs> See, I was trying to get over there, but... This mosquito- No! What the hell? What am I supposed to do now? Oh! Oh. That works, too. Shoot. I wish I could pick up an enemy and move them where I want them to be. Out. Do the bee respawn? Do does bee respawn? I don't know. It only respawned that last time because I died, but I don't know if it'll respawn if I'm just alive. Whoa, wait a minute. There's some funny business going on in there. You see that? I wish I could pick up an enemy and move them into therapy. Uh, they gotta pick themselves up and move into therapy. It's not me. I can't do that. <gasps> Ooh, uh, look at this. Wait, there's definitely some stuff up there, but I don't want to get it yet. Uh, there's more stuff I want to do down there. Ah! I'm okay. Is there is there nothing over here? Okay. You know what? I just went backwards, but I had to know. I had to know. Oh, the bee does re- Uh, bee does respawn. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> no! Oh my god, I can't believe I made that jump. Yeah. Bop. Oh, darn it. Die. Okay. Charge. All right, we're going back where we went before. Wait for it to come around. I kind of like the idea that the internet as we know it is empty. It's an idea that came along with AI. You mean like dead internet theory? I hate it. It makes me feel so alone. I don't even know if any of you are real anymore. Our town is under siege. We're all just blue check marks swimming in the void, saying things like, The despicable yes, or the story of toy will be told. Thank you for the raid, Fenton Ferrix. Thank you. I really appreciate it. The story of Chester will be told. Ah! Time for my midlife crisis? No, 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 no. That That's not until way later. Don't worry about that. You don't have to worry about that right now. Imagine that eventually the internet just becomes impossible to read or be on because it's just AI making content quickly so you can't, pe can't keep up. Yeah, but, but I like internet. <laughs> I make money on internet. I can't let that go. It'll just be like the most terrifying and sad echo chamber ever. Alexander Cole, thank you for the resub. Thank you! 
Can you have a midlife crisis if you're... If early... If you're gonna die early. No! You can't. You're not allowed to have a mid, mid a midlife crisis. No, you're not allowed to have that. What's the opposite of crisis? Have a midlife, whatever that is. Uh, hi, Chester, I'm a newbie. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Hi, welcome, uh, welcome to the stream, doctors. Uh, Doctor Shablowski. Welcome, welcome. Hmm. Midlife chillax. The midlife chill. Midlife merpile. I uh see, I don't know what that means. Don't don't And I didn't ask. Oh, I can go in now. Through the distance? Though the distance was vast, excuse me. Ooh. Oh, it's this guy. God damn it. Oh, oh. Wait, where are they going? They're gonna leave me? I guess they're going somewhere safe. They could not keep the family apart. So am I inside the wellspring? Oh, I am, I am, I am. Got it. Oh, they're going to me. Aw. I don't want them going here. I, they, they better... They better, they better get to safety. I can handle it. What if I was AI but didn't know I was? <gasps> like Blade Runner. <coughs> Love Blade Runner. Excuse me. Whoa. Hmm. How the heck? Oh my god. Whoa! I don't think that was how I was supposed to get it, but you know what? I'm not gonna ask any questions. I think I was supposed to do something like that. Ah! Ugh. Oh, no, I gotta get it again. Whatever, I'll do it again. I did it once, I'll do it again. Was that, was that a fluke? Was that a fluke or can I do it again? Oh! No, actually, it's, it's actually pretty easy. Okay, let's see. What's the origin of the name Blade Runner? I think it it's maybe explained in the book. They maybe explain it in the movie, but it, they definitely don't go into it. It's based off a book, right? Hmm. Ah! God damn it. Uh, oh, oh. They bought the license to the name Blade Runner from an entirely unrelated book? What? What the heck? Huh? That... That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. What the hell? That's so stupid. They really bought the... They could have named it anything. They could have named it, like, Ass Blaster. It, it has no significance to the plot whatsoever. Wow, that is really stupid. Well, that explains that. I almost wish I didn't know. I wish I didn't know that. It makes the movie less good, in my opinion. Blade Runner does sound sick as hell, but so does Ash Blaster 9000. 
I wonder how much they paid for the rights to that name. Blade Runner. Doesn't mean anything. Things are cool because they mean stuff. This whole time. You can't just mix two cool words together and make that a title. Well... I mean, you could, but then you would have to build it out in the story to make it more than just a title. Hmm... Uh, companies will buy licenses to names and then just make content that has the same name in order to profit off familiarity. <clears throat> Ass Blaster is the name of the monster from Tremors. Darn, darn it. Every good idea has been taken. <clears throat> hmm. I wonder if I could just shoot it like this. Uh, let's try the triple shot. <clears throat> oh my god, I, I'll never get this right. Oh, that is so good, what the hell? Oh, fine. I'll, I'll take off the extra health. I guess if I'm good, I won't need it. Right? Otter versus Ori. How long will it take for the Hollow Knight? Oh, yeah. I forgot that. Wasn't Silk Song supposed to come out this year? They got a whole year. I'm sure they'll do it. I wonder what the holdup is. What's taking him so long? Maybe they're trying to figure out how to walk upstairs in a video game because and then i would uh, then i would understand i'd be like oh yeah, yeah yeah that's impossible you can't do that it's impossible to walk upstairs in video game hmm. what the hell oh no it's an evil version of that other guy Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, he hit so hard. Oh. oh. Wow, this guy sucks. There we go. The corruption got him. Yeah. There we go. And here. Oh. Something up here. Mushroom. Walnuts are great in cereal. Huh. I've had walnuts in salad before. But I don't know about cereal. Have I had it in cereal? What kind of nut do they put in uh, Honey Bunches of Oats? There's a nut in there, right? There's there's nut in Honey and Honey Bunches of Oats. <coughs> I love Honey Bunches of Oats. Human? No. You got to put that in yourself. Uh oh. Uh. Uh, I didn't thank you earlier. Redbone Rules, thank you so much for the raid. Well, come on in. I like the almond kind. Oh. Oh, shoot. There's another thing here. How do I get up there? Hmm. 
Whoa. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I got it. I would have almost not figured that out if I didn't accidentally drop through it. There we go. Yeah, this is Ori. I'm really liking it so far. I found you on YouTube when I was browsing at Otters. Aw, that's awesome. I should post more on YouTube. I I've kind of, like, fallen by the wayside for, like, posting on t uh, TikTok and YouTube and stuff. But that that's, like, that's how you get more viewers as a streamer. Like, it's actually really hard to grow your viewership just by streaming. Um, you have to, like, make clips and stuff. But I'm so lazy. I'm so lazy. I guess I could pay someone to do it. But I have no money. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> it's tough out there. I can't say what website I found you on. Oh. Well, I hope you found whatever you were looking for on that website. This mysterious website. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. <clears throat> Sorry I missed the start of the stream. Ah, oh, well, I'm, I'm glad you're here. It's okay. Uh, welcome, welcome, World Crusader. Uh, how do, how the hell did Jerma grow? Well, Jerma's been... He's been in the game for a long time, so I feel like things were different back then. I think he's been streaming for, like, I don't know. How long has he been streaming for? Like, 20 years or something crazy like that? Um, I've only been streaming for three, which already sounds crazy to me. That and he's Jerma and he's good at everything. Some people get lucky. I got lucky. I literally... The way I started streaming was extreme luck. Uh... It was like... It was like all luck, basically. Ah! Oh no! Don't kill me. There you go. Um... Becoming a meme certainly helps. That's true. We're- we're in a meme economy nowadays. Ugh. I don't know how to kill these guys. You gotta whack him and then keep your distance. Bop. Hmm. Dude straight up admits all the- admits it all the time that he got lucky. I feel like every streamer, no matter what size, like, any success in this, uh, business, I guess? Platform? Whatever? This media? It's all luck. I mean, you can make the best content ever, but there's no guarantee that anyone would ever see it. You can literally put the most effort and make the most genius thing ever. And, like, try to post it everywhere and, like, no one sees it and no one cares. And you can also do, like, the most low effort content out there and then people just love it. And maybe it's a meme. Maybe it's, you know, you know, maybe you said the funny thing that everyone's laughing at at any given point point and it like goes viral because of that and it's not like doesn't have to be funny you know what i mean like i th I feel like a lot of my viral clips are not funny <laughs> but uh i got my start around a time where vtubing was really it's not like it hadn't been around before but it was becoming way more popular and it was just right place right time and i think a lot of people hadn't seen like a super toony vtuber at the time so 
that was like another like hook for people to be like, oh, check out this streamer because they look they look toony and different than other uh, than other streamers. And I guess I got in like just early enough because like I certainly wasn't the first toony streamer. I wasn't the first, obviously not the first furry streamer, obviously not the first VTuber. Um, but you know, I guess some people hadn't seen any others besides me, so that's where the luck comes in. Cause like I happened to be the first of my kind for people who saw me and were like, whoa, I hadn't seen that before. And then like that like led to them discovering more uh, other streamers. So I think just the fact that they saw me first was maybe because of the algorithm. The algorithm. I'm I'm to the point where I like genuinely like to the point where I'm taking this thought to the extreme, where, like, I genuinely feel like there is no correlation between quality and success on Twitch and YouTube to an extent. Uh, and that's not to say that a lot of really hardworking people don't deserve their success, because they do, because they are hardworking and they put in really, they put in a lot of time and effort and skill into what they do. But I, I really don't think that just because you work hard and are maybe the best and most funniest and most creative streamer ever, I don't think that necessarily leads to people discovering you. And it's really just that, I mean, it's, it's, it's the algorithm. Like, literally, the algorithm controls everything. Like, it decides what we, what we see and what we don't see. It decides what we're mad at and not mad at. Like, literally, all of our thoughts are orchestrated by these, like, social media platforms that just basically just... They're just kind of just telling everyone what to think and when and how to feel about it. Uh, so that's why it's like, if you know, if, it's, if you do this, you have to really enjoy it. You got to really enjoy it. Um, because there's a lot of successful streamers out, out there that, in my opinion, are not very good. And there's a lot of just genuine, like, geniuses, like, actual geniuses that have far less viewers than I do. Like, people that are just, like, so good, it's, like, you can't even believe. Um. And I'm, like, discovering more of them every day, honestly. So it's, like, if, if you really come to terms with that fact, the fact that, like, the most successful people aren't necessarily good, and the, honestly, some of the best people you've ever seen aren't quote-unquote successful, you know, it really makes you think. It's, like... Yeah, it's 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 really just a crapshoot. I mean, that's not to say that like I don't know. I mean, their effort does tie into it. I mean, retaining an audience is different than like like being discovered is different than retaining an audience. And I I feel like maybe there's a bit that one's a bit more reliant on like the the work you actually put in, but. It's it's such a mystery, you know, like I I don't I don't know. I, I really don't get it. And none of it makes sense to me. I just do it because Cause streaming is nice sometimes, you know what I mean? It's just nice. But like it really I, I don't get it. I don't know. If anyone asks me how do you grow? My first answer would be probably to edit clips of your streams, and my second answer would be I don't fucking know. I don't think they're uh, I don't I don't think there's a reliable method it's a dice roll but you can put in more effort to get more dice to throw true oh, i i just feel like i've seen so many people throw so many dice you know what i mean <laughs> it's like damn you gotta really love throwing dice being angry but creatively through a story is nicer than just ranting alone by yourself hmm I try to stick by your streams and support you, not out of any obligation, because I genuinely love your content. Thank you! I really do appreciate it. Like, I... I... I, I feel... I feel it. I... And I'm really grateful. I, I don't know why anyone watches me, but... I'm, goddamn. Goddamn do I appreciate. I know that as a streamer, I'm supposed to be adding value to everything that I do, because otherwise, why would you watch me do it? But... I think a lot of the times, I just... I, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what value I'm adding to anything. 
But I'm trying. Wait, can I grapple on to hey, any sort of blue grass? Amazing water. Thanks for your content. Thank Hope you. What the hell? Thank you so much, Turtles. Thank you for the resub. Thank you. Any blue grass? Ooh, I love it. I love it. I love it. You know how musicians make their best work at the worst spot of their life? Oof. I mean, I, I wish it didn't have to be that way. <laughs> I guess sometimes. Whenever I'm, like, super depressed, though, I gotta say, I'm not making my best work. If I'm, like, in utter despair. Dude, I am not... I am not creative when I'm fucked up. Oh. But, hey, that's just me. There we go. That's cool though, you know, like... I, I do know people that can turn stress into productivity. Uh, not me, but I know a lot of people that can do that. Maybe not like depression, but like... When they have a lot to do, and it becomes stressful, like that little bit of stress just like... Activates them and they start working. Whereas for me, I, I literally shut down. If I get a little bit stressed and start thinking too much about all the stuff I have to do, I'm like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, I need to go to bed. I, I have to sleep. My body literally is like, you're tired now. You can't get up. So I actually have to practice not freaking myself out. <coughs> like, I, I gotta chill. I need deadline stress to be productive. Yeah, and I mean, like, it's whatever, you know, like, di pe different people have different ways of, like, Kicking themselves into gear. <clears throat> let, me, let me see if I can get up here. Thank you for the pets. Thank you. Well, my... My leg... My leg just did a weird thing where, like... My leg muscle just freaked out for a second, like, vibrated, and I thought... I thought I had my phone in my pocket and my phone was... Buzzing, but it was just... It was just my thigh. My thigh- my th I think I got a thigh notification. I don't know what it means, though. Uh, the fact that I got all the shit I got for school and by the time I get done, I never bother to write any scripts or record or- and uh, record audio or edit any clips to make videos. Yeah, it's tough, you know? It's tough, especially if you have- if you're juggling other stuff to be creative and, like, actually, like... You know, it's like... You're done doing the work you're supposed to be doing, and then you're doing the work that you love to do. But it's still work. But you gotta push through. You can do it. I believe in you. <clears throat> in order to be productive, I need utter comfort. I'm that way too. I'm literally- like, I need to be like... So good. But I'm not always like that, so I have to find ways to trick myself into thinking that I'm chill. Alert thigh. What did your thigh notify you of? Um... I don't know. Should I be concerned? I need an energy drink. Ah, oh, darn it! Oh. Wow, I- that was a really fancy way to get myself killed. Ow. I'm trying to bash this enemy into the spikes. Eh, whatever. Hello there. Lupo. Welcome to the Wellspring Mill, where all the wet comes from. Or came from, at least. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, they- uh, Fuck it. Uh, fuck it, I was gonna say some shit like that. I was gonna be like, man, that's what they used to say about me. But- you already knew it was coming. I, you know what? I wasn't quick enough on that one. It's tough out there. It's tough out there trying to be funny, because once you make a joke once, you gotta be funnier the next time. Can't make the same joke twice. You shouldn't drink energy, it's expensive. I, I, uh... I feel like if I drink coffee or an energy drink, I get really anxious and like antsy before it actually like wakes me up so i try not to do it <clears throat> i 
Uh, I used to be a little nervous about mapping these great gears, but what if they suddenly decided to turn again? But they've been as still as a slumbering spittle slug for so long now. It's safe for now, probably. Uh, care to purchase a map? Oh, I guess. I've actually never been to Anthrocon. Whoa! Silent Teeth? Oh, I gotta go all the way up there. How do I even get up there? Oh, wait, no. That's inside the mill, right? Have I have I left the mill, but, like, I still had more stuff to do in there? Hold up, hold up, hold up. I think I left the mill too early. <clears throat> I'm going this year? Ah, oh, maybe I'll go. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. For some reason, like, a lot of people that I know don't go to Anthrocon, and I'm not sure why. I think it's just because <laughs> they just decide to go to other ones. But I, I do want to try it. I've heard really good things. I, I'm going to be at FWA, though, for sure. So if you're going to FWA... um, And I, I, I kind of like FWA a lot. Like, it's my favorite con. Um, I'll be there. Come find me. I'll give you a sticker. I don't go to AC because I can't get time off around major holidays. Yeah. Same around MFF. Oh, yeah. I get, Yeah, I guess... Wait, what major holiday is, a is AC around? Because MFF is around... I mean, it's like approaching holiday season. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, it's July 4th. Oh, that makes sense. I thought it was around June for some reason. This game is fun in hard mode. I just hope it doesn't get any harder. I went to one furry con in my life. I want to go to another. Yeah, they're fun. Especially if you have people to go with. <clears throat> I sort of went by myself to a uh, furry con. Well, sort of. I went with people I don't really, I didn't really know that well and it went okay, but I kind of felt like I was by myself that time. Uh, th that was when I went to uh, Furpocalypse, which I really liked because it's like kind of local to where I am. I would want to go back, but I would want to find someone to go with. It's not that it won't be fun if you don't, if you don't have people to go with, but it definitely won't be as fun. And sometimes it costs a lot of money, so you better make it worth it. BLFC? I was going to try LVFC this year. It didn't work out. Oh yeah, I was at LVFC last year. Um, I would go this year, but I have something around that time, so I can't. But I really liked it. Is there more stuff to do? Wait. I'm in a different... Wait. Huh? How do you go into the mill? I'm in the wellspring right now, right? Am I in the right place right now? I'm not sure. Ah! Wait, I want to get that. Don't know how to do it. Did you hear? Hear about what? <clears throat> Quake 6 was teased by Machine Games? Whoa. I've never played Quake. So I'm not nostalgic for it, but that does sound really cool. <clears throat> oh my god. Die. Ah! Got him. Mm. The midweek thing is weird. 
Yeah, I wonder if um, BLFC is going to do that again this year, because it did make it a lot weirder. They had their con, like, instead of during a weekend, their con was, like, from Monday to, like, Friday or something weird like that. People were like, uh, what? I had to take a whole week off? Can't do that. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't think there's anything left for me inside the this area. <clears throat> I think. Oh. 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 I gotta go there. Got it. A lost compass. I'll find your compass. Ugh. This grapple hook thing is kind of nutty. Oh wait, there's another uh, pimple over there. Ah! Whoa! I should heal though. <clears throat> All right, let's go inside. Why aren't you in uniform? Thank you, Hugh. Thank you. For the maid redeem. I'm at your service. Hmm, I'm old. Uh, I, I got a few years behind me. I feel like it's not that Quake isn't my time. I just happen to never play it. Try it again, fool. Bop. Idiot. Ah! Thank you! Holy cow! Hugh, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you! What the heck? Thank you. Oh gosh, you didn't have to do that. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> what pronouns do you prefer? I use they, them. Uh, thank you for asking. Um, hey, it's the game I have 137 hours in. Whoa, do you like Ori? Hi, uh, hi Helix. Welcome, welcome. Uh, gosh, all right. So, I need to get up there somehow, which means I gotta go the long way. <clears throat> hmm. Whoa, that looks dangerous. This game has so much platforming tech you never have to use. I was trying to figure out how to do, like, apparently there's a way to, like, if you swing your hammer and then double jump, you could, like, do that indefinitely. But, uh, I couldn't figure it out. I kind of don't want to know, though, because I know I'm not supposed to do that. It's really good, though. I love this game so far. Um... Hello, Twitch chat, and I can talk for hours. Yeah, I, I really appreciate it. I appreciate the chatting. I do have that dead air sometimes. I need people in chat to like, start talking about random shit. Not too random, but random enough that I could be like, oh yeah, let me talk about that. It's a tricky balance. You can bounce off a shuriken. Hmm. Oh, shoot. Out! Okay, let's go inside here. Whoa! 
Uh, I guess I'm going down here to this pole. I constantly annoy other people because I'm too chatty. Aw, well you don't annoy me. But I guess every stream has a different vibe. Sometimes, sometimes I, I you know, if I'm like, I, I don't know, it really depends. Like it's, it's hard for me to know how things work sometimes, but there are, uh, there are times where I'm like, all right, you gotta let, you know, like, uh, I, I would let you know if this ever happens. So like, don't worry about it. But like, no, there, there are times where it's like, it's like, all right, that's a little bit too off topic. Like we are talking about something, but I'm, I'm really bad with figuring out those kinds of cues. So I get it. Tea or coffee? Tea. Or coffee. I don't know. Tea, probably. I like both. But it's like I'm trying to drink more tea, but I'm not trying to drink more coffee. I just get it sometimes when I really want it. Oh my god. More? Ow. Ooh. That's kind of fun. I like that. <clears throat> I'm so long-winded. I, I, I misread that as, I'm so long-coded. <laughs> I'm long-coded. You know what? Guess what? I'm long-coded too. I'm long. I'm otter all the way down. Uh, ba 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 I baked a cookie that looks like Chester. Oh, oh my god, show me. I want to see. I go on long monologues about things I like. Do, have you stream? Have you ever streamed? I can't remember if you've ever mentioned streaming, because that sounds like you would be really good at streaming if you don't already do it. I want to stream. That's literally perfect. Like, I feel like especially people who go on long monologues about things they like should stream. That's literally mostly what you have to do. To be able to go on a long monologue, even if there's, like, two people in chat. <clears throat> I'm back home. Welcome home. Welcome home, Greycon. I'm also long-coded. Hey, I see you. What a maze this old mill is. No time to tarry, though. Still a ways to go. I have knowledge to acquire, and you have a mill to unstick. And a friend, and a friend to find, I hear? Good luck. No time to waste. Ori and the William Afton of Wisps? Oh my gosh, the crossover. It all makes sense. I heard there's a new FNAF game being made. It actually looks kind of good. I want to stream as a 3D tiger. That's so cool! That's cool. I'm already a fan. I basically never talk in chat. No, me neither. When I'm on someone else's stream in the chat, I, I'm usually lurking. I don't know what to say. I feel weird. I feel awkward. So I like to be just listening. I'm a major lurker. Yeah, me too. Hi, Quint. Such a pretty little maid. Aw, shucks. What the hell? Now I'm blushing. Uh, let's see. How do I even get there? It's like closed off. There might be like a... Another door or something. <clears throat> let's see what's going on down here. Ah! Oh shit. Wait a minute. Is that going to kill me? Oh, <gasps> I knew it. My gamer instincts. 
<clears throat> I felt I'd be too cringe. No, don't let that stop you. The, I, I think the hardest part about being cringe... I say this as someone who is cringe. It's not being cringe in the moment. Because most of the time, I'm not even realizing how cringe I am at the time. I'm only realizing how cringe I am after. And when you realize it, it's like, oh, it's like shit. That recontextualizes the whole situation. Like everyone knew I was being a fool. And now I have to think about it. I, I have to remember it every time. Like every time I'm just, you know, having a good day. Like I just remember that one time. Like you can never erase that. So I get it. <clears throat> I'm three cringe? Okay, true. I'm not even going to deny it. <laughs> Just by saying that, you've already proven- you've made your case. <clears throat> by the time you realize cringe, it's way too late. Have you ever- has anyone ever stopped themselves from actively being cringe? Like, they were almost cringe? You're my favorite cringe otter. Aw! You're full of nice words today, and that makes me really happy. I appreciate you, DCV. I'm hungry now. Honestly, I didn't eat all day because I was so stressed out about that stair-stepping thing. And now that I, like, I talked about it on stream for an hour, I, like, got it out of my system. And I'm, like, less stressed now. I, I want to eat food. Isn't this puzzle great? Shit, this is a puzzle? Ugh. Oh no. This is that shit where I have to like realize what orientation I have I want the wheel to be in. Oh, I am never getting this. I'm literally never gonna solve this. Oh my god. It's never gonna happen. I'm stuck here forever. Yeah, stair-stepping thing. I, I, I was trying to figure out how to, um, it was game development stuff. I was trying to figure out how to make a character walk upstairs automatically. And it is just, it's way harder than you would think. It's like weirdly hard. Because you, you can like, and, and it's hard enough to do this, but you can, you can make a way to, to have it detect stairs in front of you, and then basically have you teleport up the stair when it detects a step. But then by doing so, you could easily teleport yourself into a wall because then you would have to check what's in front of you. Like, it's it's crazy. It's crazy! The easy way to do it is basically make every stairs a ramp secretly. Like, have its internal shape be a smooth slope, but then have it look like stairs. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to do- I don't want to do it that way. That's the coward's way out. Yeah, I said it. That or you're on a schedule and you can't afford to waste time, but... Well, I can't afford to waste time either, but I'm too dumb to realize it. Ah! I am on a mission. Ow. <gasps> oh no, that's gonna stay there. Ah. Alright, time to rotate the wheel again. There it is. Are you on maid duty right now? Yeah, I'm cleaning up that act. I'm cleaning up your act.
how Sona named Howard Coward? Is that a new Quent OC I smell? Coward the cow. <laughs> Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. I gotta do some chores. Good luck on your chores. Um, alright, alright. Let's, let's not fuck around anymore. I wanna, I wanna solve this. So. I can't get through that. But I can get through down here. Okay, let's... <gasps> oh, shit. Right, I got it, I got it, I got it. I didn't uh, grapple in time. Yeah, no more fucking around. Time for finding out. Let's find out. Aha! Got it? Oh, did I do it? I think I did. Whoa! No, not that guy. What is he doing? Ah! Alright, I was looking at him. I found out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I'm I keep getting distracted when I get to that part. Alright. These guys are kind of too easy. Oh my gosh, Ron, hi. How 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 are you? Welcome, welcome. How's it going? What difficulty? I'm on hard mode. Uh Tomkey, thank you for the sub. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Holy cow. Thank you. Too easy, okay gamer. <laughs> Hell yeah. Have you ever heard of the game Clone Wars Republic Heroes? I it's ringing a bell, but I don't think I've played it. Life's been busy? That's okay. I hope it's been good busy. Too easy or are you just too good? Hmm. Well, I didn't want to say it, but I might just be too good. Wait a minute. I don't... don't ask. <laughs> okay, I've discovered that I am not too good at this game. Yeah. I take it back. No, no, please. It's all I have. No. There is a new furry skin in Overwatch. Do we still care about Overwatch? Didn't Blizzard just lay off like 2,000 people or something? Like, literally what's happening? Like, this is actually genuinely sad. So, like, I won't dwell on it. But, like, there have been so many layoffs in games with Riot and uh and now Blizzard like what the hell is happening it's literally just January it's it hasn't even been a month yet that it's just so it's just genuinely really sad darn it oh good old fiscal quarters I think I read somewhere that the amount of layoffs that we've seen if so far it, come. in January is equal to, like, half the amount of layoffs in all of last year. And it hasn't even been a month yet. And it's not just Riot. It's not just Blizzard. A Unity laid off a bunch of people. Twitch laid off a bunch of people. It's like, I just, I just feel, I, I, I don't, I don't know. It's just, I don't know what's happening right now. Wow. Wait, I can just go... I 
I can go out this way. What am I doing? I'm going out the hard way. The riot layoff actually sucks. Yeah, they, they shut down Riot Forge, which is um the thing where they started. They Riot Forge was Riot investing in indie companies to make League spin-off games, and all those games were actually good. They were all good, actually. So it's like that's just sad. And um, I heard they scaled back La Legends of Rude Terra, and I kind of like that game too. Hmm. Hi, Miles. Uh, welcome, welcome. My company is merging with another huge company in the industry I work in. I'm genuinely scared for my job. Oh, gosh. I hope everything tur turns out okay. Freaking capitalism, man. Runeterra Rogue was amazing. Yeah. COVID times meant people stayed home and consumed entertainment more. Yeah, but... <clears throat> yeah, it's true. Companies scale up because they think, oh, sick, everyone's gonna... It's COVID, everyone's everyone's inside, technology's booming, let's expand, hire more people. And then when it's not booming anymore, they're like, oh, well, shit, we hired too many people, we can't afford to pay them. I don't know, maybe... Maybe figure it out. <laughs> I don't know, make money better and pay people better. Wait a minute. What, what do I do now? So I got the wheels turning in here and... I, oh, I think it opened up another door. Why do you think so many people just want NFT, NFT AI? Well, they're just dumb. Two point five years. Let's go. That's just that's just literally dumb. Chester Zen, thank you, thank you for the resub, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, how are you? Two and a half years. That's bananas. Actually, bananas. Oh. The Wellspring ones was a home was once a home to a great library, Ori. Knowledge flowed like water through its walls. Now much of what's was much of once was was lost, and the water sits still. The legends were true, spirit. The Wellspring Library. Just look at all this knowledge. But there's something else. A foul presence nearby. There. Can't you smell it? Seems to be wafting down from somewhere up above. Mind checking on it while I browse these books? Of course you'd like to hone your skills. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give I can't afford anything. I wonder if they made things more expensive because it's hard mode. We have that Asmund Gold clip floating around. I honestly didn't even watch it. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I already know this is gonna make me mad, so I'm just not gonna watch it. Hard mode, hard mode does make things more expensive. Oh man, damn it! I guess I just have to deal with that. More like Asmund Mold. I've literally never watched Asmund Gold ever in my whole life. The st standard incentive alignment used to be the boards representing shareholder want short term growth, the executive wa executives want long term growth. Then tying executive compensation to growth figures became a thing, and now there's no incentive to pursue stable growth strategies. Damn. How, how did we get to where we are today? And also, how do you know so much about business? Business chat. I want to know more about business. I'm a business. Hmm. 
I guess there's a boss somewhere in here. Let's go fight a boss. <clears throat> Wait, exit? Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to exit. I'm going to go over here. Mysterious seed? Hell yeah. See a thing up there. Got it. <clears throat> this looks like a boss arena. Yep, this is definitely a boss arena. Alright, let's do it. Ah! Oh my god. The tentacle. Aw, thanks! A foul presence indeed. Uh-oh! Gross! On we go, hurry. I guess I'm running. I wanna fight, though. I could do it, I could take it. Uh, uh, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. My little hamster wheel. <gasps> oh my god. No, not into the water. Uh. No! Uh, run! Ooh. No! 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 Darn. Darn it. I gotta do that whole thing over again. You, you gotta, like, not make any mistakes here. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Our town is oh, the thank you! Thank you for the raid! Holy cow, I really appreciate it! Ah, I'll properly say thank you in a second. I really appreciate it, though. Welcome on in. We're playing Ori! Uh, and I'm messing up. Gosh, I'm one hit away from dying. <gasps> no! No! Ah, oh, darn it. Same place. Uh, Fokuzu, thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream? Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. This game is ridiculously pretty. I don't, I don't get how I'm supposed to survive that part that I keep dying at. Ah, I keep launching myself into the water. Shoot. I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. It's hard mode. No, I keep... I, it's, it's an accident, I swear. Whew. Yeah, 
here's the part that I can't figure out. Oh! Oh! Go! I did it! Ah! Oh my god. Shit. I think Blind Forest to Chase Scene is better. No, I loved this. I mean, it's just... It, I think it being hard mode broke up my flow a little bit. But that's not the game's fault. I thought it was great. On hard, the escapes move quicker. Oh, shit. Why do they make every part of hard mode hard? They should make a mode where it's like... it. You think it's hard mode, but it's actually easy. So it makes you feel even better. Because it makes you feel powerful, but you're not actually... And then they, then they could have a secret hard mode that's actually hard for the people that, like, you know, actually want a bad time. They should have a mode called, you're doing great, sweetie. You're so good at video games. We love you. And then they could have a uh, go fuck yourself mode, which is, like, actually hard. Oh, God of War. <laughs> True. I was playing um, Ragnarok in, like, what's it called? Like, Spartan mode or something for a while. But then <laughs> the boss battles just took too long because you barely do any damage in that mode. I got through, like, halfway, and then I'm like, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> I'm going to play normal. I forgot what it was called. It was called, like, Spartan mode. Um, yeah, placebo mode, exactly. But you can't know that it's placebo mode. They should actually make a game where, like, here, I'm gonna make a game like this, where, like, normal mode is normal, and then hard mode is actually easier. But they don't tell you. I don't tell you. Hard mode is actually easier than normal mode, but you feel like a god. Because that's, at the end of the day, that's what games are for, right? Games are for making you feel good. God of War is Give Me God of War. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I was playing. I was playing that on Ragnarok, which I feel like they made it easier in Ragnarok than, than 2018. So it was actually kind of doable. It was doable. It just takes forever. It, it just literally, literally takes forever. And, and like when, in that game, in Give Me God of War mode, if you hit an enemy and they're damaged, they have a chance to like power up and become like way stronger if you don't kill them fast enough. And there's almost always way too many enemies at any given time. So you're going to, like, punch through all of them. And some of them are going to power up. They get glowy eyes. And then they get even more health. And I'm pretty sure they start regenerating. Like, it's just like, okay. Okay, like, I I don't have anything to prove at this point. Like, I just... <laughs> I have a life. <sighs> I, I like when hard mode... Like in this game where things, I don't know, it's not just that enemies take longer to kill. You can make them take a little bit longer to kill, but not like to the point where you're like, I don't want to play this game anymore. Because <coughs> at that point it's like, okay, well I know I can do it, but I just don't have the patience. I do like hard mode in this game. Oh shit. Oh, it's it's good water, so it's okay. I don't like hard games. Me neither. I don't know why I do that to myself sometimes. The Lost Compass. Is that where the Lost Compass is? Let me see if I can get it. I wanted to fight that thing. I was ready to fight it, but they said no. Okay. It's gotta be somewhere here. Is it in here? I think it might be inside. Darn it. <coughs> Bloodborne is my favorite game of all time. I literally have to play Bloodborne so bad. I, I, I haven't played it yet.
Where is that compass? You'll fight it later? I want to fight it now! Did you actually end up playing any Souls likes after Dark Souls and Elden Ring? Not really. Unless you count Lunas Lunacid. I was gonna, why don't I, why, I almost called it Lunacid. Uh, but it doesn't really count. Ow. It doesn't count because, uh, you don't, uh, drop all your stuff when you die. You just, like, start over. That's a really good game, though. I used to play stupid hard Minecraft mod packs. That sounds fun, though. Minecraft is a game that I want to like really bad, but I can't get into it. I always, I always start it and then just stop. Oh, 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 so now that the creature is gone, I could maybe explore in here. Let me save again. The boss fight is hard on normal, so no, you don't want to fight it now with, with five hearts. Yeah, well, I'm, uh, I'm kind of built different, though. Your church is abandoned. I know, I know, my church. I never finished my Minecraft church. Gosh, that was, that was years ago now. Maybe one day the church will live again. I made an Among Us church in Minecraft that one time. Chat remembers. Chat remembers, yeah. Especially follower. Follower is an OG. <clears throat> Love the maid costume? Thank you. Look on my Minecraft church, ye mighty in despair. <gasps> August, hi! Thank you for the resub, thank you. Look in despair. No, look and rejoice. I can't do a church to Among Us anymore. I gotta do a, a church to Skibbity. Yeah. You know, if I did that shit this year, it'd be a church to Skibbity. Like, okay, like, actually, though, like, did I talk about how I actually unironically like Skibbity Toilet, though? Like, I'm not even joking. Because someone made a really long Twitter thread summarizing every episode, and I kind of got absorbed reading that, and they posted a lot of clips. No, no, it's, like, actually good. Like, I'm not joking. Just don't hate it because it's popular. I figure. No, <laughs> no. No, thank you for the biddies, Rhythm. Thank you. No, but it's actually really good. Like, genuinely good science fiction action. Like, it's like blockbuster level shit. Has anyone ever seen uh, Pacific Rim? Uh, I've only seen Pacific Rim 1. I've never seen Pacific Rim 2. But if you like Pacific Rim or any sort of monster movie where giant monsters beat the shit out of each other then, like, you automatically will like Skibbity Toilet. Like, I'm not even joking you. Like, it's- it's- it's good. It's fucking good. I'm fucking skibbity bop bop. Yeah, like, actually. Let's get you back to bed. Grandma? No, I ain't no grandma watching Skibbity Toilet. Pacific Rim 2 is pure pulp. Yeah, well, Skibbity Toilet is Pacific Rim, but watchable. You mean one? <laughs> I, I haven't seen two. Yeah, no, but, like, I actually, like, I enjoyed everything I like about Pacific Rim. I liked in Skibbity Toilet, but more. <laughs> and I'm not even joking. I'm not fucking joking. I, I don't know. Probably some of you think I'm doing a bit right now, but, like, genuinely... I've heard about- all I've heard from Pacific Rim 2 is that it sucks. Yeah. I I'm not in a rush to see it. Skibbity Otter Lamau. 
No! Skibbity, top, top, top. Yes, yes. Skibbity. What was it like? Skibbity. Fucking. <laughs> I'm a fake fan. <laughs> I I can't understand what they're saying, but it's it's good. I don't I don't understand it, but I like it. Oh my god! You know what else though? Uh. So you know how I've been sick for the past like two weeks, and just like in bed trying to get better. I started. <laughs> I, I'm like hooked on Built by Gamers. I started watching Built by Gamers and they're talking about like the sweatiest Roblox map and shit. I'm like, actually I get it. These guys rule. They have an unbreakable friendship even though they always disagree about something. That's how I want to be. SVC underscore Yadero says hands up <laughs> for three minutes. I'm glad I'm discovering all this like shit that I normally wouldn't watch normally. <sighs> I think that most people who hate Skibbity Toilet probably haven't seen it, is all I'm saying. I hate the awful song. You, mm, you'll learn to like it. <laughs> you kind of learn. You have to learn to like it. I've watched like twenty of those videos. Well, you probably. Mm -hmm. Have you gotten to the part where it gets good yet? Oh shit, there was a Gorlick Ore down there. I'll watch Skibbity Toilet for you, but if I don't like it, I'm never trusting you again. You know what? I wish I could find that Twitter thread for you, because they summed up a lot of the fluff. Like, there there is some fluff that you have to sit through. And I don't think it's bad, mind you, but if you're in a hurry, you know what I mean? Uh, I wish I could find that thread for you. And then, and then I promise you, I was up till 4am reading this like long Twitter thread that summarized every episode. And it was by watching the clips, because they uploaded clips. That's how I got into it. The biggest plot twist of the year is that Chester's a Skibbity fan. You could be too. That could be actually the bigger plot twist, is that you don't think you'd be a fan of it, but once you start watching it, 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 it really takes a hold. It's as if a, a parasite Skibbity is controlling my every move. How do I get out of here? I don't know how to leave. I, it's like I'm trapped in here, much like I'm trapped in, in in that once I started watching Skibbity Toilet, I couldn't stop. I'm a millennial too. I'm literally a millennial. Um. <clears throat> I, I think I actually am stuck in here forever. Oh, wait, the door is right here. I didn't know it was a door because it's too pretty. You, 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 they didn't paint it yellow. Well, actually, you could argue that it is painted yellow. The whole color scheme of that area is yellow. I, I just, I just thought it was part of the background. <clears throat> Doors can't be pretty? No, because if it's too pretty, then it's just a... It's just a background. I... I... I guess I can't find the compass yet, or... Maybe I'm in the wrong spot. Oh!
It should be in here. Shit. Yeah, it should be in here. Game where you have to find the interact interactable surfaces to paint them yellow for the coming protect. That's actually fucking brilliant. What the hell? You you should have kept that idea to yourself. Now I'm gonna steal it. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna steal that idea now. No, nah, I'm not gonna steal it. You better make that into a game before someone else does. I should that that's that, that's actually awesome. <laughs> what the hell? That's like they, that's so good. That's a million dollar idea. Is it in here? <clears throat> I feel like it's in here because... I don't know. I don't know why. I just know it. I'm back. What's been happening? You talked about Skibbity Toilet and I had to take a dump. My god. You were... You were the Skibbity. The beans. Oh, I don't- I don't have to have my hands up anymore. Uh, you know what? Maybe I should- maybe I'll come back for the stinking compass. I- I don't know where it is. got something. I'm not empty-handed, at least. Yeah, that's basically all I can do in here. Unless it's in that giant wheel puzzle. Oh, god, I hate the puzzle, though. I'll come back for it. <clears throat> Want a hint on where to go next? No, 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 no hint. I can figure it out. Out. Wow. I don't know how that happened. I don't think this is the kind of game that would, like, lock me out of shit if I don't find it early enough. So, based off of that assumption, I'm just gonna go towards where I'm supposed to go. <clears throat> and that is this way. There's nothing you can get locked out of permanently. Thank you. Thank you for confirming. Uh, are you back to these hours or is it a one-time surprise? It's kind of a one-time surprise. But I'm not sure. I, I don't know. I, I feel like I, I just get more viewers at night. Because I guess people are at school or at work or doing stuff. <gasps> bear! Evil bear? Or not evil bear. It doesn't let me attack it, so it must be a good bear. <clears throat> I 
Oh, are you going to the cold place? I'm going there to pick some reach berries. Or wanted to go. There was a large bear in the way. He is sleeping. I tried to wake him by tickling his nose with a tuft of grass, but it didn't work. Maybe grass is not big enough? Maybe I'm not big enough. Um... I could try tickling him again if I could find something bigger than a tuft of grass. You know what you gotta do, little friend, is you gotta crawl up his nose and tickle his brain. That's how you do it. <laughs> you gotta crawl up his nose. Uh, it's 8.20 for me. Oh, gosh, excuse me. Let's go down here. Let me see what's over here. Yeah. And there's a there's a piece down there. There's like a thing down there. But I don't think I can get it yet. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think it wouldn't be that easy. <gasps> thank you! White Dragoon, thank you! Thank you so much for the resub. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Up here. Golic ore. Hi, Mote. Wait, I don't want to talk to you, even though you're cute. You're just going to tell me how many times I died, and then I'm going to feel bad. You haven't heard Meet Mew in a while? You know what? Ever since I played Pikmin 4, I literally can't Meet Mew anymore. Because now I- now I- I associate Meet Mew with Pikmin now. And... It, it didn't used to be like that, I... Because I didn't know what it was at first. But now I- I hear Pikmin because I know what it is. So I need to come up with a new catchphrase. What should my catchphrase be? You know, like, uh, how Lightning McQueen says, ka and how, uh, like, uh, 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 freaking Poe from Kung Fu Panda says, skadoosh. I, I need a, I need a new thing. Morp? Vor? Mm. I'm rooting, tooting, pooping. <laughs> Uh, I don't know about that. It should be skibbity op. Oh, <gasps> skibbity ot. Skibbity ot ot ot. Yes, yes, skibbity. I'm lactating. I'm lactating so hard right now. No? Morp? Tell me more about this morp. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, that should be my catchphrase, is that I'm lactating? Thank you for the sub, I'm lactating right now. Welcome to the lactation station. Hmm, I feel like someone out there has already got that. There's gotta be a lactation VTuber that, that already has that. Right? Because if not, I'm, I'm, I'm claiming it. I, I, I remind me to ask Ribby what her uh, catchphrase is. I don't want to step on anyone's toes. Isn't that a fetish? Well, you know what? As long as, as long as you're not getting your rocks off, I guess it's okay, right? Uh, all right. I talked to this uh, Moki already. What you got for me, Twillin? Care to buy spirit shards? Let's see, let's see.
Oh, yeah, 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 this one, this one. This one's good. Ten percent chance to deal fifty percent bonus damage is actually just like straight up, also really good. But I think this one will have this one will have more use to me. Oops. I don't want to give up the magnet, but. I don't know. There's too much jumping and hopping and skipping in this game for you not to have magnet because enemies are going to be all over the place and spikes are everywhere. So it's like, you can't not have that. Let's try this. Kind of hardcore mode. Talk to people, find shrine. Let's talk to Big Frog. That guy scared me because I'm so used to seeing the enemies. <clears throat> so what do these do? Like, does it unlock more area to traverse? Hmm. Hmm, I guess I'll do it. I'll do it for the Moki. I keep hitting the wrong button. Oh my god. Why is it called Disco Elysium? There's not even any disco. I thought... I, I've only started playing the, the game, but I thought there was some lore about how, like, there used to be, like, the age of disco. Like, back when there were, things were booming. Yeah, I don't know. I literally just started, so I, I don't know much about it stream it i don't know it seems like a kind of unstreamable game to me it's too much reading and too much too much game disco lives forever it would be fun for a few streams i guess Wait, did I, did I, uh, wait, let me see. Did I do the thing? Yeah, I did it, I did it, okay, okay. Cool, 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 cool. <clears throat> Test the waters? I, I already have a sense. Some games are too slow and too RPG. They're better for off-stream. I literally should have saved my freaking energy points. Isn't this what I use to buy that skill that I probably am not going to use as much as one of these? Oh, I should have saved it. Darn it. Alright, well, I'm never buying anything from Twilin again. Who the heck? Who are you? <coughs> Excuse me. I've seen many a novelty since I fled my frozen garden after the storms, but a spirit. My family told me stories that your kind once roamed these lands where they call me stranger. I'm not complaining, mind you. I almost forgotten the feeling of soft soil at my fingertips, but it does not yet feel like home. Whoa, I don't, I don't know what this is. <clears throat> oh, 
Never play GTA 4? Huh? Really? I have GTA 4 on Steam and I never played it. And I, I was gonna play it at some point. Did they ruin it? The PC version of GTA 4 got nerfed by patches. Can I unnerf it? Damn. Persona 5 is too much dialogue and too much fight with epicness, which makes it good. Yeah, and I want to play it, but I, I don't want to stream it, though. Where'd that frog live again? The frog lives over here. Alright, alright. Let's go back to the frog. Shit. Out of here. I think I got that already. Yep. Goodbye. Ah! Hit the wrong key. There we go. Can you believe this game runs on Unity? I can believe it because um, Hollow Knight was on Unity too, right? It makes me want to learn Unity. But I'm too Godot-pilled right now. I feel like if I try to learn too many things at once, I won't ever make a game. I'm not even sure if I'll ever, ever even make one at the pace at which I am tearing my hair out. <clears throat> Welcome back, little one. The Moki tell me you have taught the clear waters to flow once more. The stench that once hung over the wellspring is gone. Our marsh is in your debt. Doesn't he look so blunt smokable? The way east to the silent woods is now open, but beware. The one Moki call... The one the Moki calls Shrek lives there? I pray you find your friend before she does. Oh shit. I'm waiting for an epic boss fight because all I got was a chase sequence. I want to fight. The wellspring has woken. The waters flow clean. Squeaky mill. Rushing water, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow. Alright. Alright, I have oxygen, so... I better hurry it up. What? Oh no, I'm gonna need like some kind of water dash move. Damn. Out. Cool, 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 cool. Now. So apparently Shrek lives here. Careful, Ori. These woods do not welcome us. They belong to her now. Hmm. Silent woods. <clears throat> huh? 
am I supposed to do? Can I bash on the bubble? Oh, I can bounce on them. Cool. Ow. My skin melted off. Oops. Ah, uh, you know... Yeah, I, I should probably, uh... Put the sticky wall back. Have a good shower, World Crusader. Ugh! Okay. Damn it! Alright. Oh! <gasps> Gotta be something here, I know it. What the hell? Ah, Light Bearer, your kind is not... Welcome here in my garden. When the trees need you most, yes, you were gone. Now look, look, my garden is all but dead, see? Cold stone, bitter dust. Only one tree lingers. Ah, even she is not whole. What? She's got a hole right there! Leave this dying place, yes, as your kind did before, unless you can bring my do last daughter healing. Bear her poisoned limb, light bearer. Find a healer of nature. Right what your kind is wronged. You got it, boss. Is he a monkey? I think he's a monkey. You got monkeys, you got monkeys. grab this. Oh, I can buy one of the upgrades now. I can buy one of those other upgrades from that other person. Okay, let me let me double triple save. Let's plug this sucker up. I see. Ho. Huh. Keystone. Oh no, I need two keystones. Darn it. Ah. Oh, that's one. There must be another one. There it is. Easy. They made the game too easy. There we go. Woods lay still, all ash and bone. <gasps> Dead birds in the background. Sad. The dark water insta kills. I I figured. No spoilers though. Don't spoil me. Did I thank you earlier, White Dragoon? If you're still here, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Oh my gosh, my friend! We found Owl! Aww. Uh-oh.
There she is. Shrek. Wait, that's not Shrek? That's Koo? I thought that was Shrek. Hell yeah, I got gliding back. Does that mean I can't dash anymore? Ah! I'm still trying to, uh, I'm still getting used to the controls here, I'm sorry. My bad. Oops. Uh... I don't like being the owl. I don't like the owl. I want to be regular again. How do I un-owl myself? You shine bright, spirit. You disturb the silence. Folly. She hears, she sees, and yes, you are easily seen. We obey the silence, those who do not- Ah! They never leave. Okay. You must be fun at parties. Is it gonna be another chase sequence? Cause I I'm about- I wanna fight. I wanna kill. You can use your bow. Oh shit! Okay, that, that does make it a little bit better. I need four keystones? No way. Darn it. Hmm. I wonder if I could get this guy to break that open. Out. Nailed it. I nailed it. Oh, <gasps> what? What? A oh, shit. No! Ugh. Oh, Alright. These are busted open already. Okay. We need one more. One more keystone. Where could you be? Seriously, where- actually though. I'll turn into fossil, no. She guarded the silence! Thanks.
What the? Is there another breakable wall or something here? What? Uh oh. Whoops. I, I don't. I don't know where I haven't been. Not that one. I can't go any higher than this. Out. Yeah, I can't heal in this form. JT, thank you for gifting us up to Oriola. Oriola? Like areola? Like nipple? That's the thing on the nipple, right? <laughs> what the fuck? Thank you. Enjoy those emotes. N nipple. Ah. <sighs> Nipples usually come in pairs, so that means, uh, they gotta share. <laughs> they gotta share their emotes. Oriola and the William of Wisps. I love that game. That's my favorite game. How are you feeling, JT? Because <laughs> I know, I feel like somehow I, like, telepathically gave you the flu. And I'm still coughing a little bit, but I'm mostly better. I've been muting to cough, though. I was coughing as I was laughing. No! <laughs> we have to make you cry. So that you don't cough anymore. Quick, say something sad. Chat. Make JT cry right now. You can't cough if you're crying. It's at the air place. Okay. Uh, let's look around here. There's the door. There's, uh, I already got that one in there. I feel like I cough a lot when I cry. Aw. Well, we gotta make you laugh, and we gotta make JT cry. Wait a minute. What the heck?! Okay, that- that's like a troll spot that, to put it. I can't believe they put it there. They gotta stop making this game too pretty, like... I'm not- I'm not gonna look at something that's too pretty. You know how, like, in those old Hanna-Barbera cartoons, like, Scooby-Doo, where you know something's gonna... You know something's gonna be animated, like, a part of the background is gonna move because it's, like, colored differently? Like, everything is painted, but there's one wooden plank that's, like, a solid color. They gotta do that shit in this game, so I know that it's, like, not just a pretty part of the scenery. That or, uh, paint it yellow. <clears throat> what if the dead internet is real? As long as you're on the internet, it's not dead. That's what I believe. Silence, yes, whispered of you. Ah, so brave to walk so freely in her woods. 
Have you seen the stones, cold statues of travelers past? They stand as a testament, yes, to bravery. What's this guy's deal? Like, he's following me around. Why are you so obsessed with me? Leave me alone. Ah! Ah! Oh my god, that was a close one. Uh-oh. Ah, shit. Alright, respawn. Yep, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Go up, go up, go up, go this way, go this way. And over here. Oh, shit! I wonder if it's still broken. Nope. What the? That's... That's a load of baloney. Is this Flappy Bird? Yes. Damn it! We gotta go back down. They respawn. Here he is. How am I supposed to get that without dying? Ain't no way. There's no way. You can. Oh, right. The gust of wind. Oh my gosh, you're so smart. You're literally so smart. Whoa. Ah, oh, shit. It. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Why is everyone talking about William Wisp? William Afton Wisp. Ah! No! to do that. There we go. I just didn't see the spikes. Ooh, what's this? What is this? Can I not do something with this yet? Make a poll on which Ori game is better. I personally am enjoying this more than the first one, and I like the first one a lot. I, I just feel like they, they refined it. Um, I gotta say though, you know what though, the one thing I'll say about this, I feel like there are more cutscenes in the second one, and I, I, I kind of just want to play. But, there's too many cutscenes. <laughs> I don't know. There's too many cutscenes, but just pure gameplay wise, I prefer the second game.
Why did I do that? Oh, come on. Go in here, do this thing again. Out. I can't even heal when I'm all mode. I love video games. God, I hate linear art. The way home, just out of reach. I'll kill it. I'll kill it. Let me fight it. Don't do it. <laughs> Dummy. Game saved. Hell yeah. What a weird looking bird. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know the owl that we're on is so weird. She's so weird and ugly. Ah! What's over here? Nothing, 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 nothing. I feel like there's something over here. Howdy, Chester. <gasps> How Aram, you thank you. I'm really enjoying it. Thank you so much for the resub. Thank you. So far, I've not done enough murdering. There's just a lot of getting murdered. And I want that to change. Ah! No! No, don't do it! No! <laughs> Why? Why did you do it? <gasps> oh no. My last words to her was that she was ugly and weird. No! She's okay, right? We could bring her back. No, Q. Damn. Now I'm on a quest for revenge, and revenge equals kill, which is good. Kill is good. No! No! 
I thought she got devoured. So that I wouldn't have to, like, I wouldn't have to look at her like this. Or Ori and the Wisps Rising Revengeance. Ooh. You killed her with your mean words? No, it was the giant monster. My mean words actually made her stronger. If anything, I wasn't mean enough. Too many dead characters, yeah. 9 out of 10, too many dead characters. Not enough Moki. Oh my god. I'm gonna cry. Even the Moki are sad. Their ears are down. The Moki earlier was like, I know you're not a Moki, your ears are too floppy, but now they have the floppy ears. A mochi. They're droopy? True. <gasps> is it the will of the wisp? This is William? It's the will of William? To bring back the owl, maybe? When you play music like that, and make it all dramatic, I want to be really disappointed if they don't bring him back to life now. Do it! Possess the owl. No! What? All he did was bloom the flowers. Damn it. I know he could have went in there and reanimated that body. I, I know he could have done it, but he didn't want to. That it was not the will of the wisp. Damn, what the hell? He just made it pretty. Well. Oh, look how sad the frog is. I am saddened for your friend. The voice of the forest has done what it can, but the light is weak. Too many have suffered in these dark times. The smallest... Don't say it, don't think it. The most. With the willow's end, the light shattered. No. The spirits perished and Our Lady fell to decay. What? The fragments of light were scattered, weakened, barely wisps. Left as they are, their light will fade forever. It's only a matter of time. Man, can you say something to cheer me up? You're not helping right now, frog. But with the Moki's help, I have located the places where they fell. <gasps> the forest's memory bound by frost in the north? Okay. Ice Kingdom. Its eyes lost in the darkness to the south? Okay. Got it. Its strength drowned in waters to the west? Okay, okay, good, good. Its heart buried beneath the shifting sands to the east? Ooh. And its voice who journeys with you, alone they are weak, but brought together? Ooh. 
Really had to moisten his lips for that one. No longer can I remain hidden in my hollow. I am... I am going to knight you in my hollow. You will be a hollow knight. Oh, goodbye. We found this, Ori. It'll help you get far. Did you just pluck that straight out of Ku's body? Okay, thanks. Kuro's Feather. You've gained a new ability while airborne. Hold blah 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 to glide. Damn, they really made me think that the whole game would be you and Owl friends forever. BFFs. But then, the Owl dying is like the start of the game. Like, the tutorial is done now. Oh, it's Kuro's Feather, not Ku's. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Is that poison water? It's kind of glowing. Wait, where am I going? Ow! <gasps> no! I needed that! Ow! Hang on, hang on, hang on. Darn, what the hell? I, I gotta get it to respawn. <coughs> Excuse me. Huh? Alright, I'm just gonna die. Okay. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Wait, I can't, um... Can I not bash that? You gained a new ability as well as glide. Wait, really? Can't bash those. <coughs> what? I'm sorry I keep coughing. Huh. I'll do it later. Out. Let's get some air first. <clears throat> Ow, what the hell? Yo, be cool. I'm afraid to hit it, because I feel like it's going to explode. Oh, nice. Uh, I can do arrows on Y. I 
There's too many keys. I'm forgetting them all. Uh, let's do... I want to say... This one and this one. Nice. What the fuck? What was that? <laughs> what the hell? God. What? So I got this already, right? I feel like I did. Yeah, this is the guy that's like, you're dead. You're dead to me. <laughs> did you accidentally double bash? Did I? Let me save. Let me see. Um, I feel like there's probably some stuff over here that I missed, but let's just maybe teleport here. It, it's actually so good that I can teleport between wells. I don't think you could. I don't think you could do that in the first game. Look at the map. Uh, there's more stuff over here. Let's go this way. This is new. Okay. You have a ways to go. I, I know. <laughs> I'm like 10 hours into this game and I feel like I'm just getting started. The setup was the owl dying. Ow. I feel like I might have to leave that guy somewhere. Never mind, there's two. Shit. Oh, combat trying. This is a uh... This is how you get more, uh, of the dealies. Wow, I'm dead. Alright, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. I'm ready now. the feather. The feather is useless. You gotta go with this. Um, I want to say unequip this one. I'm not gonna need this right now. Not gonna need this right now either. You gotta go uh, this one, this one. <clears throat> 
this one. Then you gotta go... Regenerate this one. <coughs> Doesn't Magnet help you loot the shards that enemies drop? Yeah, but they're all here. It's not like there's some big obstacle. Oh, hi! This game is really good! How are you? <clears throat> Alright, let's do it. Fucking first try. The other ones didn't count. Ow. Heal, heal, heal. What? What? I was healing. Err. That was dumb. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. These guys are harder! <laughs> They're harder! This is one of the harder ones? <laughs> no! Sorry. I got it, I got it, I got it. It's way harder in hard mode. No, 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 no. This is easy. I've done Path of Pain. Gotta be careful. I gotta figure out how to kill those um, purple guys. Shit. Ah! <gasps> no! How do you kill those guys? Urgh. I'll try the sword. I, I haven't used the sword in a long time. Yeah, maybe maybe the sword's the way to the go. I don't, I don't know about the hammer. I'm only using the hammer because I bought it. Okay, sword sucks. You gotta go back to hammer. You gotta go hammer all the way. Sword is sword is dumb. Sword dumb, hammer good. Fuck. Oh my god. Alright. I'm not giving up. You can activate a mode that lets you see how much damage you deal and enemies deal. Oh, it's okay. Oh. Is it in accessibility or something? Display. Oh, damage value. There you go.
Alright. First try. Otter who doesn't know what first try means. Damn it! Okay, first try, first try. Should I heal now? Well, now I should. Okay. I think I just have to like separate the enemies and then cheese them. I don't even know how to upgrade my freaking things. Do I have to find an NPC? Huh? Where'd they go? I think the enemy despawned. Huh? Ah! What the hell? Oh my god. That's not fair. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. Okay. Forgot I could do that, by the way. Yo. Chill out. Chill out. I, I can't... throw your things back at you like this. Oh, shit! In the long game. As long as I keep doing this, I'm good. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> now I have to actually. Oh man, if I die. my god. I was doing so good, too. That last one was fucked up. Tell me that was the last one. Tell me that was the last one and not, like... You know, there were... Don't tell me there's, like, five more of those. <sighs> that guy fell on me. Oh my god.
That was clean. Got it. <sighs> Same as before. Okay, give me what you got. Got it. Same as before. Oh, come on! Ah, uh, shit. Oh! What? Oh, now you hit me. Oh my god. Got it. Almost there. Almost there. Oh my god, you gotta stand here. It's like the magic spot. Bop! Fuck. Oh, almost. Almost. Wait. Oh! One more hit. One more hit, one more hit. Nice, nice, nice. <gasps> what? What? Do the uh, bullets last longer if I don't have that freaking charm on it? I think they might last longer. So I'm gonna get rid of this. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll do this one. This one might help. Oh, all right. God damn. I'm getting better at this. I'm 
I'm getting better at the bashes. Ow, shit. No! Okay, last one. One more, one more, one more. Bop. Okay. Oh, I keep getting too close to the things. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I, you know what? I actually do like... Here, I'm getting rid of that. I don't need that. It's gonna make me die faster. Oh, I, I do like the multi-shot. It's, um... That's why you need blow. Oh, shit. You're right. Fuck blow. Blow blows. I did it so good the first time. I didn't have blow. Gosh, why? I, man, they, they made this game so hard. They made this game so hard. It's like, it's like impossible. I actually like that spider. The spider makes it easier. The spider does a lot of damage. Here, I'll, th I'll throw this at you. Shit. It's just that I, I don't have room to heal. Alright, I gotta kill the spider. No, Bro. Fucking crazy. This is- this is some crazy shit. Arrgh. Gotta be kidding me. Man. Man. <laughs> Excuse me. Holy shit! Ah.
do it. Hello? Hello, hello, hello? There you are. Holy shit, holy shit. Unlucky Gemini, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you, thank you. I'm playing Ori. Get my ass beat. Well, we're gonna be okay, I think, now that you raided. Welcome on in, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, th their, their bullets only do 10, but the spider's bullet does 20. Ow. Didn't mean for that to happen. Yeah. Ah, <sighs> here we go. Bob. Almost, almost. Got one of them. One more, one more. Okay. Uh oh, no. Holy shit. Oh. No fucking way, I just died right away like that. Oh, no. No! Oh, yeah. How did that do damage to me? I bashed right through him. I can kill this guy. I'm confident that the last hit won't damage me. So I'm gonna heal. And then I'm gonna preemptively switch this to slow. Oh! <gasps> 
No. Uh, let, let me live. <laughs> Holy shit. Please let me heal. Let me heal. I can't. It won't let me heal. Oh, oh my god. Easy. I made this game too fucking easy. Jesus. Yeah, first try. Wow, you never seen gameplay like that before. Oh my god. And I keep hitting the wrong keys still. Oh my god. Jesus, can I save? Oh, I could do it again for some reason. Shit, dude. You look cute in the maid outfit. Thank you. Thank you. Now go get resilience from start of game near tree. Oh, resilience from start of game near tree. Resilience, you say? I swear to God, if I die here and have to do the whole thing over again. Ah! Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I'm scared to check. But I, I got four, uh... Oh! <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. I got it, I got it, I got it. Freaking blow. Blow blows. <gasps> oh, I didn't even use it that time. I was trying to. Out. I never even needed blow. Alright, start of game near tree, huh? How, how far away is that? Somewhat far. Start of game near tree. Was that here? Where's the start of... Where's the start of game? Here? It's in Water Marsh? I gotta get resilience from start of game near tree. Uh, uh, does the maid outfit have a floofy skirt? Floofy? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's pretty floofy. It's... Well, it's actually not that floofy. <clears throat> I was trying to floof it up. Resilience, resilience, resilience. <coughs> Maybe it was over <clears throat> here? Whoa! He's good, thank you.
Hmm. <gasps> Ooh, I could use you. Good. Stay right there. No! I'm not trying to use you yet. Right now. Thanks. Ink water. Oh, it's an ink water marsh, right? So I shouldn't go this way? <clears throat> I know you're not supposed to tell me, but, uh... You can tell me, it's fine. <laughs> Probably somewhere around here. I wish I could show you a map of the trees I'm talking about. Where is the fun in that? You gotta describe it to me using riddles and rhymes. I've had it with these mosquitoes though, seriously. When are you gonna combine punk and maid chester to form punk maid chester? <gasps> Fusion is a cheap tactic. Go south. Oh, that's new. Oh, okay. So I'm not empty handed. Cool, cool, cool. Freaking God, I'm not gonna die to you. I still don't know what these do yet. <clears throat> Goodbye, idiot. that one. I don't know about that one. Ow! I felt like I could... I, I, I feel like I could cheese this one. Oh my god. Hi, Mooney Cutie. Welcome. <clears throat> oh, 
Ooh, wait a minute, that's new. That's new. Ah! I get it. I get it, I get it, I get it. I'm just looking. I'm just. Oh, actually, you can help me. Come here. 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 Out. Oh my God. <gasps> no! I needed you. Why do you have to go be so stupid for? Was there nothing up here? Oh, what's that? Oh! Dude, I don't even know where I am anymore. I'm like off the map. Check it out. Check this out. No! 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 Pretty much spent all day shitting. Ow. Oh, shit. Come on. Really? You're gonna forget about me? How dare you. I could do it again. Okay. Ah! <gasps> no! Oh, 
I'm never going to get that, right? Up there. <sighs> Fine. Ah! Okay. I can give you... Can I give you direction because you're going the wrong way? To resilience. Oh, you know what? It's fine. It's, it's fine. I, I feel like I'm at least going somewhere right now. So I'll find whatever there is to find here. We can get resilience next time, it's fine. Oh, I, I, I can't bash that spider. Can I not bash? Oh, I can. It's not the acid. Got something! Good. Worth it. Okay. I'm cooking. Here we go. Come on. Oh. oh I thought it could. Huh. How do I break this? Okay. Left down the big cliff. I don't even know which big cliff you're talking about. Oh shit. Big money. How do I get over there? Hmm. If you check the map, you'll see a big wide space and there is a cliff on the left. This is a big wide space. This is also another big wide space. This one over here, Inkwater Marsh. Like down here, down here. I'm sure I'll find it. There And there's a little hidden passage right here that I have to check out too. I'll find it, I'll find it. All right, no more hints, no more hints. I got it. I got this. Your big wide space. That's a surprise to me because I, I try to take up the least amount of space possible in any place that I go to. Oh, I guess I'm not trying hard enough. Wide otter. 
I'm not wide, I'm long. Could I, could I really not go this way? What was stopping me? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. My short-term memory, I forgot already. Out. You have a fat tail? Damn right I do. Um. <clears throat> here, let's go back over here. What's this? Moki. You know what? I, I want to walk back, actually. Out. When do we get a pet tail button? Ooh, there's an idea. Out. Out. Fat tails are so dope. I misread that as fat tails are so cope. I'm like, what? I'm not coping. Cope. Cope with my fat tail. It's so meaty. It's girthy. I haven't watched in a while. Welcome back. How are you? a ton. Aw, that can be kind of nice. Whoa! Gorlick or stuff here. Even if this isn't where I need to be. A lot of stuff. I gotta get that. Hell yeah. Wow, I am just powering up. Oh wait, no, not a combat shrine! Oh fuck, I guess we're doing it. I accidentally did the combat shrine. Can't be harder than the other one. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, are you seeing this? You seeing this shit? Oh my god, whoa, that was a freaking, the other one, I'm, dude, I'm cracked now. <laughs> dude, I went nuts just there. Does that mean 
Oh my god, that was way too easy. What the hell? I want to make the game a bit harder. That was crazy. Watch, this regular guy is going to kill me. That was one of the earliest? Oh. I could take it. I don't care how hard it gets. Ow! <laughs> Damn it. What's this? Spirit try. Oh man. Is it like a speed run thing? I don't like those. I don't like those at all. Combat trial is where it's at. Ow, 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 ow. God, it, there's nothing more satisfying than punching an enemy into a spike. And there's nothing worse than uh, spikes that don't hurt enemies but hurt you. Like, I don't like when they do that. It's gotta be fair. Or at least it's gotta feel fair. Race? Uh, I don't know. I don't want to do that race. Only combat trials for me. Is it at least marked on the map so I can find it later? I think so, right? Yeah, is, is it right here? Oh no, or- Oh, it's like you go from here to here. Oh, uh, uh, But... It gives you money. Uh, fine. I'm trying to find resilience. Whoa! Hate that guy. Okay, alright, let's do it. <clears throat> first try, first try. Wait, I gotta go down there. Oh my god. That's hard! Oh my god. I already forgot. Oh, I gotta go down. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. How do I restart? Ain't no way. Ow. No! No! Shit. I already fucked it up. Oh, I gotta go like this. Oh my god, I already fucked it up so bad. Then you gotta go like this. Ah, fuck! I gotta put my sticky back on. Retry, retry, retry. Here, I can retry, right? Tell me I could retry. <clears throat> there we go. Alright, I remember. Here we go. Uh, no, I fucked it up.
Dude, there's no way. <laughs> That's just way too hard. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, let's go. I fucking hate these. I love combat trials, not these. Look, this guy's like even falling faster than me. Ow. Retry. How are you moving that fast? Oh, oh. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Ah, uh, no, 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 I fucked it up. No. <laughs> I was doing so good. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. All right, let's, let's do this. Retry. I gotta, like, land on that grass. No! I fucked it up. I, I have to have, like, a huge head start to that guy. By that point. And then everything else is just like... Ah, oh, shit! Alright, I, I gotta make that jump. Woo! Restart. This is why I never beat uh, Neon White. The whole game was like this. I guess that's kind of what the point of the game was. I so I should have gotten that, but... Uh, now I don't know which one's me. Ow. Ah! Wait, do it. Do I only. Do I not get money? It... Did I miss it by like three milliseconds or. 2903? That, that was the best time, right? Oh, you, they only get. You only get one shot? Bro. That's... That's crazy! You got gold? You got... Really? Did I? I, th I thought they would, like... You know, pat me on the back and, like... Make me feel like I did something, but it just... Hmm... Wow. I, I really do like the hammer. Uh... Hmm.
Go to the right of the wellspring and break the wall. Which one? This one? You, 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 you shouldn't tell me these things, though. I mean, what's the point of the game if you tell me where everything is? Um, I appreciate it, but... It's like... What about the joy of discovery? Not the one left of big space, I mean the one. Okay, so you know what? You, you get off the hook this time because I don't understand what you're saying. Because I feel like this... Oh, this one? Alright, I'm gonna have a look. But if I can't find it, then... Then no more hints, okay? No more hints after this. <clears throat> Break the wall, you say? Break the wall. Alright, remember, no more hints. If I can't find it, then... Then that's it. I'll have to find it on my own. <clears throat> I'm looking for, uh... I'm looking for a secret wall. I'm due for an upgrade. Ow. There's gotta be a secret wall around here somewhere. I smell it. Hi, Cece. How are you? Oh, I'm looking for a secret wall for a secret upgrade, but I don't see it. Gosh, how long have I been streaming? Five and a half hours? I'm probably gonna call it soon. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just do quests and try not to die. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. I do feel like I'm close to a secret wall, though. to save uh, resilience for next time. I'm not finding it right now. That was a big wide area, just like you said. Well, actually... It looks like I could maybe, like, go from underneath, or... How, do you, how have you liked the game so far? It's really good. I like it a lot. Um, it feels like... I don't. At the same time, it feels like a more refined version in the first than the first game, but it also feels like they they added more story and more cutscenes. So, in some ways, it does also feel like they try to pad it out some more. But there's a lot of um, there's a lot of game, so I feel like I barely scratched the surface. But it's it's so freaking, it's it's just really nice. <clears throat> And also, even though I'm playing on hard mode, I, uh... I, I don't want to rip my eyeballs out, so that's good. I like the difficulty. Oh my god, this guy, leave me alone. very pretty. It is. And I, I'm more of a... Like, I'm a sucker for good combat. Even though I'm not really good at it. Oh my god, we found it! <laughs> uh, I feel like the first game was, like, 
80% platforming and 20% combat. And this one feels more like 50-50. And I just really like the combat. Yo! Thanks for helping me, by the way. Ah, oh, we're just finding everything, huh? So... You know what I want to do before I before I stop stream today? I want to find the upgrade people and upgrade. Are they over here? There were like a lot of people around this area, so I think I'll backtrack from here and try to find them. <clears throat> because I know I'm going to forget the next time I play this and I'll be like in the middle of an area and I'll be like, damn, I wish I upgraded. Yeah, I'm trying to find Twillin. He's gotta be around here somewhere, right? <clears throat> they were all kind of standing around here. Somewhere. Does it tell you on the map where they are? I feel like it might be over here. I am the husband. I love these games. This, these games rule. They fucking rule. Husbands and wives are welcome in this chat. Talk to Grom. I don't want to talk to Grom. Nope. Don't have enough of that yet. Single Sag. Yeah. yeah get out of here. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Go be alone somewhere else. I heard what happened to your friend. I'm sorry. Sorry for your friend and the one that hurt her. Nothing's fouler than the str when the strong hurt the weak. But the light coming back together? Now that's promising. We need to. We need something to lift the gloom and the dust and the sand. Maybe you're the one that make that happen. Hmm. All right. Where's Twillin? I know you're around here somewhere. Out. Darn it. Oh, sick. Nice. Thanks. Oh, there you are. That That's you, right? A few upgrades. Ooh. Ooh. Two additional life cells. Three spirit light orbs. Hmm. Take take 20% less damage. What the Wasn't there another guy though? What wasn't there another guy that gave me different upgrades? Where was he? I, I just wanna check. I wanna make sure that. Uh, I, I want to make sure I'm spending all my money in the right place. Resilience is broken when upgraded. It sounds broken, but I still want to check out the other shop first. Ow. Ow. Oh my god, I died. There's another shop somewhere. Not, not you. Might have been over... That. Who was it? Oh, you? Was it you? Ofer? What the no? <coughs> yeah, it was this guy. Breathe underwater. Ooh. Breathe underwater? Set nearby enemies on fire. Throw a star that returns to you. <clears throat> Create a shockwave. That could be good. But none of this stuff is like... I want a spirit or mm. Breathe underwater could be good. I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do that. Boop. 
bla get blaze for shrines? What does that mean? But, but also stop backseating though. Like, <laughs> I I do appreciate it genuinely, but uh, you you can't tell me what to do, man. Uh, hmm. Resilience does nothing if you just don't get hit. True. True. <clears throat> that is true. Okay, I will get Blaze. Cause it look it sounds good. How do I do that stuff? I'm out of cash? No, I can still afford to upgrade, uh... I can still afford to upgrade... Resilience. And, let's be real, I definitely am gonna get hurt. So, I'm definitely gonna upgrade it. There he is. Whoops. Yeah, I, I honestly think this is the best upgrade. Not only is it, like, the cheapest, but I'm getting hurt, like, all the time. And, uh, I'm just gonna need it, so. We need front seat gaming. That's, like, when I tell every one of you how to play while you're playing. So I need, a, I need, like, I need to have a stream of, like, 30 games running at once, and I'm just barking orders at as many of you as possible. Go left, go left. No, no, jump there. Uh, uh okay. Yeah, no, that that's going to be really Honestly, that we're so much stronger now. I think the rest of the game is going to be a breeze. Can you become Punk Chester in real life? Is that like a general question? Like can one become uh yes. I believe in you. I believe you can become Punk Chester if you try hard enough. Bark, bark more orders. Bark, 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 bark. Game saved. Okay. All right. That was a good five and a half hour stream. I feel good. And my voice isn't completely gone, I think. Because I was kind of worried. Hmm. Uh, alright, so I saved. I remember saving, so let's get out of here. Where do shards come from when you shit and fard? Next question. Alright, let's go over here. Let me exit the game really quick. Okay, oh, I'm gonna put my controller down. Ah, oh, I feel productive today. I'm I'm happy. I hope everyone had a nice night. Thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. I will be back on Saturday. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do though. I'm not sure. I'll think about it. Thanks for streaming at this hour. No problem. I'm happy to stream at like. I, I do like to diversify, like, the times I stream, and it's just, I, I, I don't know, I, I normally, uh, and this happened to me today, too, actually, 
But what what normally happens is following what? you since Hearthstone poopy otter. <laughs> oh my gosh, Hearthstone. I did like one Hearthstone stream. Thank you, follower. Thank you. 38 months is insane. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I was going to say, like, uh, the longer I go during the day when I know I'm going to stream later that day, the longer I go without having streamed yet, the more anxious I get. And I don't know why. It's not like it, it's not like I never streamed before. I don't know. I Maybe I get, like, shy or something. But I, I get really anxious. So that's kind of the reason why I've been starting earlier and earlier. Less time to get in my head. And usually by the time I start streaming, I feel good. But like if I reach a point where I'm like too anxious and I start streaming anyway, then I, I'm just like off that day. Like, I don't know. There's some days where I'm just kind of off and I, I have to like push through. And I wonder if everyone can tell, probably. There's days where I just like, I feel like I'm not talking enough and the things I'm, I'm saying just like don't make any sense. But I feel good today. Uh, let me see. I, I see a few people streaming that I would like to raid. Okay. As you all know, Whiskey is streaming. Whiskey is awesome. But I just, I just opened up Jaw stream and I see him hugging Whiskey's giant cardboard cutout of himself. And I, I, we got we to gotta go over before he uh, stops doing that. So why don't we say hi? <laughs> just, it's just Jal hugging the cardboard cutout. I don't know if he's still going to be doing that by the time we're over there. So let's get the raid started. And also, he just started streaming. So that's good. Um, the raid message... Uh, I'm not sure what the raid message should be. I'm tired. <laughs> Let's just make it raid message. William. No, no, no William. Uh. <clears throat> All right. Thank you again for hanging out, everyone. I really appreciate it. I, I haven't really streamed that much this past couple weeks. I streamed once on Monday, but then before that I hadn't streamed for a while, so I still feel really rusty. But I definitely want to stream more, especially now that Twitch has updated their, like, um, revenue share stuff, and I gotta, I gotta meet the sub goals and stuff. I really want to, uh, like, ramp it up and, but also, like, make it, like, worth it, you know? Like, I'm not just, like, begging for subs. So hopefully we can, you know, it'll, it'll be fun. Uh, I'll figure it out. It's gonna be cool. Big things. I don't know what big things, but they're gonna be big. Anyway, enjoy the raid. Bye, everyone. Bye. Yeah, bigger tales. You heard it here, folks. <laughs>